Let me uh, test another slide to see if you are seeing the full slide, if you don't mind. Yeah, please. You are seeing the full slide? Yeah, yeah. Dr. Nidhi, please coordinate. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Sir, uh, yes, it's full slide. Uh, Rajiv, sir, the uh, program is live. Uh, oh, no. on. Uh, uh, Dr. Dr. Rajiv, uh, yes, sir, yes, sir. Do you see what is keeping us together in this universe? Sir, this is sir, definitely uh, that binding force. Exactly. And, yes. Exactly. I'll uh, 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 my best way. Sir, uh, your slides are very much clear. <clears throat> Wonderful. I'm, I'm ready. You all are ready. I, I'm not in a hurry. Uh, I sleep a little bit at, at the daytime. It's night right now. And uh, if you want to know exactly what, 7.30, and I would be in bed for two hours or so already. <laughs> I go to bed 9.30. But what I did today, Dr. Nidhi was, I slept for two, three hours in the daytime. That's, 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 really... Yes, uh, that's a good thing, sir. Yes, because uh, if you have rest at daytime, so definitely you can uh, spare some time uh, in, the, in the night or in, uh, in the night. Exactly. And, this and is you... one question I asked uh, ask students, elementary uh you know, middle school and high school students. You I am suffering and talking to you at night. Why is it like that? That has something to do with the universe, right? The motions of of this earth, our sun, etc. Et it gets them thinking, why is not Dr. Krishna? having day there, right? So this is one of the things that I kind of push some of the students to think about. I'm at night and you are at day. Why? Yes, students, any, any guesses? Guesses from student side? Uh, yes, some of them are smart, but in the high school, uh, type of thing. Uh, not in the elements. We explain, I have some people in India, I have about uh, 50 students every year that are being sponsored by me for their education. N nothing more than just education. And uh, I have a person, you know, there are a couple of people who got, uh, not couple, four of them who got bachelor's degree who are from time to time giving little time back. And they explain to these kids, you know, so we got that um, uh, kind of like demonstration thing, you know, where there's a globe that rotates and all that. It's shown. Yes. Sir, we received two answers. Uh, one is from the uh, Shivangi and when, uh, another one is Kirti Hasiza. Uh, Shivangi answered, sir, due to rotation and revolution of the earth. And uh, Kirti answered, uh, because of sun directions. I think both of them are right. Right, yes. And if we can combine both answers, I think we get most of the answers done, right? Right, right. <laughs> We need both of them. Very good, smart. Give them my uh, cheers. Shivangi and Kirti. A big round of applause for you. <clears throat> Professor Rajiv, are you there? Oh, I see. Uh, uh, he is 100% there. 
and he looks younger than I saw him quite a few years ago. Where is it? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll take it as a compliment. <laughs> Uh, sir, actually, he is among young children, so uh, that energy keeps him fresh. That's, That's true. true. That's absolutely you true. know, uh, the, one of the best things I can tell you about teaching is being with younger people. It really makes you, uh, shapes your personality to think, you know, younger, in younger yes. terms. Yes, yes. Uh, Dr. Uh, Rajiv, uh, is sir joining? Principal sir joining us? He is joining us. I had a talk with him a few, like uh, half an hour back. He is joining us. I think he is uh, like, I am trying to connect with him. Uh, Professor sir's last name is, uh, what is Professor sir's last name? Uh, uh, Professor Kumar Jha. Yes, he is principal of the institute. Uh, right. I think, wasn't he at that time also principal when I came? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was the principal at that time also. Right, right. <laughs> Professor Nidhi and... Uh, Sir, I... Professor Saying both of you... Uh, Feel free to correct me from time to time. If I go off on a tangent, bring me back. I think sir is joining within a uh, few minutes, I believe. Okay, okay. <clears throat> uh, in the meanwhile, Shushmita, you can play that small video uh, of uh, the Kem Krauss journey of the last 10 to 12 years. And as soon as the principal sir joins us, uh, we'll go ahead with the program immediately. Will, yes, sir. Will, will anything get disrupted here with my connection with you? No, no, not at all. Don't worry about it. We are there. Okay. okay. We, we'll connect with America, not to worry. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I, right now we are perfectly sitting, ready to go. I don't want to re... Okay, okay, okay. Then leave it. Then leave it. Uh, Shushmita, then leave it. Uh, let uh, let yes. it seem they as, stay as it is. We can, we can keep talking about different things. Uh, maybe uh, you all can ask me some questions and I can answer while we are waiting for Sir Jaha, sir. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, and there's a question by Kirti. Kirti, yeah, you, you know, it's by Jay, Jay God. Jay, you can type your question over here. Uh, in the meanwhile, there's a question from Zikra Aram. Sir, if the universe is expanding, then do <clears throat> the size of Earth or Sun or any other planets also increase? Well, uh, that is part of my presentation. Part of the presentation is we talk about sun. I don't want to give it out because then I have to repeat myself. But uh, the, the, everything is changing. The earth is changing. The answer to his question is like this way. The earth is changing, the sun is changing, the solar system is changing, the Milky Way is changing. The whole universe is changing. We'll talk about some of these changes. Not all of them can be accommodated in this talk, but that is part of the talk. Any other questions? So hold your, hold your question. If it is not answered at the end, ask me again. Uh, sir, there is another question from Jay Gore. I wanted to know about white holes, why they appear for only seconds. I... Uh, 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 why they appear only for seconds is to be investigated. A lot of things are happening like that. And do we have answers? No. No. And part of uh, the thing I want to leave uh, this thing with this student is 
It's a good thing that we don't know everything. And I will tell you who knows everything. Part of my talk, while we are talking, I there is. We'll talk about that. But as human beings, you know, things are coming, things are going. They are, you know, antimatter, matter is combining together, leaving apart. Things happening at the rate of 10 to the power minus 40 some seconds, which is unfathomable. We can, I can't even think, honestly. But our observation of a lot of these things is not on par with what is happening. In other words, we don't have the observing tools even to claim are they separated. So short hour, a lot of things like that are being investigated by physicists. And in some cases, other people like materials experts like you all, because everything at the highest level gets kind of merged. Any other question? So there, there are, are there? many more questions. So principal sir has joined. Uh, over. Uh, uh, yeah, principal but... sir, my namaskar to you. Namaskar, namaskar. How are you, sir? Good to see uh, you. I'm after doing long time. great. I, I was just thinking about you because I met you that day. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you so okay. much for wonderful. We had a wonderful refreshment here in your office too. So <laughs> <laughs> thank you, thank you. Right. And I was telling you, Mr. My, one of my daughters today that they planted a tree and she couldn't believe it. She said, Dad, you are pulling my leg. I said, no, this is the truth. They gave me a lot of honor. I said, it's worth my all night. If I have to spend all night on this talk, I will. Yeah, so, Survi, we can follow you. Because now we Good morning to one and all present over here. I'm Surbhi Agrawal from BSc Chemistry Honors, third year, and I'm the president of the Chemical Society. <coughs> Chem Crown, the Chemical Society, Department of Chemistry, ARSD College, wishes you all a very happy National Science Day. National Science Day is celebrated in um, India on 28th February each year to mark the discovery of the Raman effect by Indian physicist. Sir C. V. Raman on 20th February 1928. For his discovery, Sir C. V. Raman was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1930. It doesn't matter what country or what political system you are from, space brings you together. Today, we have amongst us our keynote speaker, Dr. Kumar Krishan, Chief Technologist. Senior Scientist NASA, Vishnu Kumavat Sir, Coordinator of Chemistry Department, Professor Rajiv Singh, Convener of the Chemical Society, Dr. Neeta Azar, Convener of the Seminar Society, and all our eminent teachers, students, and participants from other colleges. Let us begin our program with the traditional ceremony of Saraswati <laughs> Vandana.
to begin with the proceedings now may i request professor rajiv singh to address us and chair a brief profile of our chemical society uh, thank you survey and uh, good morning to one and all i heartily welcome dr kumar kishan back to atmaram sanatan college he was here in 2017 and uh, i am welcome our honorable principal sir uh, dr gyantosh kumar ja and i also extend my hearty welcome to all my colleagues my students and participants from various colleges and uh, participants from various institutions across india too uh, this time we saw registrations from almost across india maybe that was the attraction of a space scientist i believe and uh, surbhi you forgot to welcome uh, our principal sir during your speech and that is why these programs are organized so that our students get to learn so once again i welcome sir and before i start i am happy that we have amongst us today dr suman dudeja also she was the one who started chem crown yeah. in 2009 so the chem crown society it was renamed chem crown in 2009 uh, with dr suman dudeja and myself and it is one of the major and uh, what you call uh, eminent society of arsd college as well as delhi university it has been organizing various events and has made its place across the university uh, like in 2011 uh, we were part of uh, the united nations announcement of international year of chemistry and our event that is the chem crown was the first event uh, in india to be held under that banner and since then we have been organizing various exhibitions science exhibitions various talks various events various programs and our students have won laurels across india they have been doing extensive research work at undergraduate level the students have been bringing the like once they have brought the society magazine and again they will be bringing the society magazine and you know the society as a whole has the blessings of almost uh, you know since our seniors and our juniors also and they have been actively blessing this society many teachers have led this society for so many years so to keep it short i am thankful to all of you because everybody is waiting to listen to kumar kishan and uh, to tell you in a very short uh, line that the last time we had his talk uh jhas uh, principal sir was also there and um, all our faculty was also there and it was almost pin drop silence in our seminar room for almost a uh, two hours you know it was his attraction the people were so attracted to his speech so i welcome you sir to our college and to our society thank you so much for your sparing your time thank you thank you so much sir thank you so much sir May I now invite Vishnu Kumar sir to introduce the department. Thank you, Shubhi. Uh, good morning to all. Uh, I, Vishnu Kumar, extend my gratitude and thanks to our principal sir, Professor Gantosh Kumar Jha, to join this event. Our guest, eminent speaker, Dr. Kumar Krishnan, senior scientist at NASA. Uh, It, it was my pleasure that uh, I have already met him uh, in our college live. So uh, welcome, sir, and uh, Dr. Nita Azad, Professor Rajiv Singh, dear colleagues, students, and all who have joined this event as a participants. I welcome you all once again on the behalf of uh, Department of Chemi uh, Coordinator, Department of Chemistry, ASD College, University of Delhi. So let me take the opportunity to introduce our esteemed department. In totality, we are twenty-five in number. Out of twenty-five, three are professors, uh, five are associate professors, and seventeen are assistant professors. Basically, twenty-five is a big number. And uh, the interesting thing that we have three professors out of twenty-five. That is a big number. And uh, many more are in the queue 
Uh, अगले तीन से चार सालों में हमारे पास बहुत से प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट में हो जाएंगे दैट इज द वेरी बिग थिंग इन यूनिवर्सिटी ऑफ डेली एट द कॉलेज लेवल एंड वी हैव थ्री लेबोरेटरीज इफ वी इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर दैट वी हैव थ्री लेबोरेटरीज फॉर द अंडर ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट्स एंड फाइव रिसर्च लेबोरेटरीज फॉर द पी एच डी स्टूडेंट्स एंड वी हैव अ गुड कलेक्शन ऑफ लाइब्रेरी बुक्स फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स एज आई है and this is labs in our department so along with teaching most of the faculties are involved in the research activities and uh, the salient feature of the department is that ki our colleagues and uh, our undergraduate students are also involved in the research activities basically ug students get their research publications during their graduation only and it is a very interesting thing that with the help of these publications students can uh, admit uh, can take admissions or uh, get enrolled in the research based institutes like uh, tifr like uh, uh, iits like iscs so basically uh, it is a salient feature of our department and we were the first uh, i think so uh, in the university of delhi so we have started this thing uh, to uh, and um, to engage uh, uh, undergraduate students in the research activities so many more miles are in the queue to achieve i assure our principal sir that we are working and will work hard to achieve more heights in the future so thank you all uh, over to surbi thank you thank you so much sir for giving the guidance about our department now i would like to humbly request principal sir Professor Gyantosh Kumar Jha to address the audience and welcome our eminent speaker. Thank you, Suravi. Honorable Dr. Kumar Krishan, Chief Technologist, Senior Scientist at NASA, and Professor at University of Houston, USA. Uh, Mr. Vishnu Kumawat, Coordinator of Chemistry Department, Dr. Rajiv Singh. in charge and convener of chem crown colleagues and my dear student on behalf of atmaram sanatan dharm college it is a proud privilege and honor for me to welcome dr kumar krishan in this national science day celebration organized by <clears throat> Chem Crown, the Chemistry Society of Atma Ram Sanatan Dharm College. I remember the day when we have in invited Dr. Kumar Krishan in our college in physical mode in the seminar room. The enthusiasm. amongst the student and the staff and <clears throat> the knowledge which he shared with the students i think that was an amazing experience with his lecture so i know that he is going to deliver a lecture on understanding the universe why we why are we here how are we here and it would be a great experience and great learning with his lecture i am thankful to dr kumar krishan that he has given us his valuable time to deliver his lecture in this program i am glad that chemistry department and specifically chem crown is inviting eminent speakers for lecture series organized by them and it is being held since 2 3 months i am very glad whatever uh, dr vishnu kumawat has assured i know that you people would work very hard and with your sincere efforts and hard work our department will go and will reach any high my best wishes thank you so much thank you so much thank you so much sir now 
I request Dr. Nidhi Tureja from the Department of Chemistry to take over the session. Thank you very much, Surbhi. Uh, let me introduce uh, Dr. Krishan, uh, Dr. Kumar Krishan. Uh, I would take a uh, few minutes to introduce uh, Dr. Uh, Kumar Krishan. It's a great pleasure to welcome Dr. Kumar Krishan at Atmaram Sanatan Dharma College on the occasion of National Science Day, that is 28th, 28th February, 2022. Uh, currently, Dr. Kumar Krishan is adjunct professor, University of Houston, honorary professor, Delhi Technological University, and honorary distinguished professor at Amity University, Haryana. Dr. Krishan has supported space exploration from January 1965 and was with NASA in various capacities from February 1976 to September 2018. Dr. Krishan has served as innovation champion and ST chief technologist for NASA Johnson Space Center, GSC, and represented GSC at principal technologist on the NASA Council on Science and Technology. Dr. Krishan served at Virginia Tech at University Fellow for Technology Transfer, Office of Special Initiative and Visiting Professor on Special NASA Assignments. He has also served as adjunct professor at Rice University authoring more than 170 technical papers, reports, and proceedings. Dr. Krishan is a fellow of Society for Design and Process Science, SDPS, fellow and distinguished speaker of the Institution of Electronics and Telecommunication Engineers, IET, and an associate fellow at American Institute of Aeronautics and Astronautics, that is AIAA. Dr. Krishan's academic degree are from Kansas State University and MS from Phi Kappa Phi, Eta Kappa Nu, and Sigma Psi Honors. Calcutta University, he, from Calcutta University, he earned MTEC and BTEC. He was gold medalist and silver medalist from there. And Jammu and Kashmir University, from there he earned BA that is highest university merit in electronics, electrical engineering, radio physics, physics, and mathematics. Dr. Krishan received the NASA Exceptional Services Medal in September 2018, recognizing his exceptional and sustained service to NASA and the United States in the realm of technological advancements in support of human spaceflight. With these few words, I heartily welcome you, uh, Dr. Krishan, uh, on this uh, National Science Day, and I request you to deliver uh, your uh, lecture. <clears throat> Wonderful. Uh, let's go to the charts. Now, um, first thing I got to say uh, to Principal Sir, Dr. Jaha, uh, to Dr. Singh, to so all of you who used incredible words to talk about me, I don't know what else I can give you other than my love. And that was taught to me by parents, by being born and brought up in India. The greatest thing we have to share with each other is love. That will become a little bit apparent and obvious when we when I speak further. I will not spend more time on anything except my presentation because I know the students probably will want to know a lot more about universe or I call them universes. For some reason I have written papers about that. And secondly, why are we here? And how are we here? So could we go to the charts, please? Thank you so much for incredible, incredible introductions. And now I know a lot about ARSD College. It looks like a gem 
in the University of Delhi and a gem for the entire country of India. Thank you so much for introducing me with this this much introduction. I haven't received Dr. Nidhi and all of you this much introduction up to this time. I'll be very honest with you. Okay, could we go to the charts, please? Dr. Uh, Singh? Please, yes, please, sir, please. So how do I do that? Um, are you able to see my charts? I am not able to see my chart. Uh, Dr. Kumar, you will have to start sharing your screen once again. The okay. Screen sharing option over here. Yeah. I, I got it. Uh, now let's see. Uh, so now I will own it again. Share. And are you able to see my charts on the side? Yeah. Okay. Now I will go one chart at a time. I'm on a learning mode. Students, I am a student. Please, you won't believe me. I took after all these degrees that are Dr. Nidhi, I call her because that's such a beautiful name. So she introduced all these degrees. After that, I became a student at University of Houston, applied mathematics and took 14 hours. I still want to finish that degree. That would be like the fifth, sixth degree for me. So I am a professional student. Today, I am honoring Prime Minister Lal Bahadur Shastri, who gave me the, the uh, stipend to uh, support my travel from Sodhpur in West Bengal to Manhattan, Kansas in the United States. If we go there, it will be a couple of hours. So we will not describe that journey. The journey we'll be on is talking about the universe. It has been my fascination. And the reason I am, I left my excellent job at Kansas State University. I had a job in East Rogue. I had several places I had job. Professor Dawan had invited me twice uh, to come to East Rogue. And I had a permanent job at Kansas State University. But the attraction of knowing more about Antariksh, what's out there, how is it there? How, what processes are there for the birth of these things, for the existence? How do they exist? How do they, how do they go out of existence, extinguish? So, and, and particularly when you think about universe, students, you must think about time, space, energy, matter, and life. Those five doors have to be explored to get into knowing what the universe is. And we know very little. That will come through obvious to you as I go further. In this presentation, I'll mix, like Professor Jaha said, uh, our principal sir said, I will also mix how are we here, why are we here. These are very deep. Hindustani mein hum bolenge gari, gari. Themes hai ye. Ke hum yahan par kya, kaise aai. Or hum yahan par kaise hai. Ye mazak nahi hai. But I will do the nibbling on the edges of these three topics. Universe or universes and these two. So if I am successful up to the end, I keep talking, I will be so happy. Now, this was what came true when I was being introduced. Lao is the keeper of the universe. You know, log bolte ki we, hamara interaction with the universe presents the universe to us. If all the humans are gone, the universe will be there. But how will that interaction go on? So in my way, I say, Pyar hi Mahamaya. We'll define Mahamaya a little bit as we go along. On this chart, this is the Hubble telescope image that has been taken over many, many uh, times and then composites are made. You can never show Earth. You can never show solar system. There is no measurement that will come any close. 
But I had to show you that our beautiful earth is on the left, on your left side, sitting there, incredible. It's like a jewel, the largest diamond sitting right there and we are sitting on it. Students, if there is nothing else, I want you to listen carefully about this chart. It says we are surrounded by, I made it for you. We are surrounded by complexities, changing of universes. Time is changing, space is changing, matter is changing, energy is changing, life is changing. So now, simply put, in mathematical terms, change is a function of time. In chemistry, chemical biology, any department, you will notice that things are changing because time is changing. And time, therefore, mathematically is an inverse function of change. So in my case, I show you a photo, first photo. I was so excited because the governor of West Bengal gave me this medal and I took a photo. That is probably my first photo in my position, okay, in Calcutta. And look at me in 1962. Look at me in United States in 1967. Look at me now. I have three beautiful daughters. All of them are doctorates. One of them is a physics doc, uh, medical doctor. And <laughs> the other is a safety doctor. And the other is an endowed cheer professor. Youngest one on your right. Bottom line. See that chain? Here. When you look at 1962, some people tell me, is that you, Kumar? At NASA, they told me. Is that you or your professor? So now, if we could reverse the process, perhaps I could get back where I was in Kashmir, in my village, Chandpura. It was so beautiful. In the morning, you would hear these birds and you would never want to go anywhere except to be in that environment. Now, is there anything in this universe or all the universes, anything we can think of that doesn't change? According to the philosophy of India, written thousands of years back, it's Mahamaya or God or Brahma. Brahma alone is constant. The creator of everything, including himself. And, and creator of time and space, which we need for anything else to go on. I could go on and on, but remember, we are going in this time. Now, time, I capitalized on time about 45 years ago when I heard about yugs. That gave me ammunition to go back and read in English because I don't have Sanskrit, I don't have Hindi knowledge, but I do have Urdu that doesn't come too handy to me. So I went through English translations and I will share some of that knowledge I got about cyclic time with you. Now, you expected me to say something about the universe, so I will. I'm not going to walk away from this talk not talking about what little I know, at least I can share the littlest thing I know. What they are telling us, the physicists, the great guys, the noble laureates is, hey, up to about 10 to the power minus 43 seconds, it boggles me, my head, when I think about those times. And they tell the temperature of this thing, this thing, they don't describe what thing was there, was 10 to the power 28 degrees Kelvin, give me a break. I can't decide 10 to the power three degrees Kelvin. <coughs> and here, this in this Planck epoch, there was 10 to the power 28 degrees. Big bang happened. Energy was prevailing. All these forces, electromagnetism, gravitational, weak nuclear interaction, strong nuclear interaction, all these things were together up to that time. We have same strength and their they were glued, huh? glued. 
Then what happened? The core karate in 10 power minus 12, 10 power minus six seconds. Now that is understandable to me because in India, you will see what the lowest time has been written thousands of years. It's incredible. I also worked in nano uh, technologies and so on and so forth. So tenth, this cork era, after the end of electro week era came the cork era, in this phase, all these forces became independent, these four forces. Once they became independent, things started to happen. In other words, hydrogen, helium, etc. You know, all these reactions started to happen, materials started to formulate. Now, I got to tell you, India should be on top. Everybody should be talking about India. Why? India defined the smallest time as truti, one tenth of a nanosecond, tenth to the power minus 10 seconds. It's not me, it's written. In Shastras, you can go and verify. I will give you the scale. And the truti has been defined as more or less like an atom of time. Things will happen in that short period of time. Now, you tell me throughout this talk, I will narrate to you the strength of India. How did India know that these things will come apart in that time? Think. The four forces came apart, more or less, in Trutti, in the Shastras of India. Now, we don't still know exactly. And I read this paper and I was laughed. This paper is well written. It's in the prestigious journal. And it says, it's by Nancy Atkinson. It was in 20. 11, the publication says that when the bang happened, it didn't necessarily happen uniformly. Things didn't go around like a spherical shell. She maintains and she wrote the whole theory that things came like a line, straight line, and then expanded. What is the point I'm trying to make with you students? We still don't know after the big bang how this thing exploded in what direction and how fast. So now, the age of the universe, it says the most precise estimates are given like 13.73. Since it's my talk, therefore, I'm going to take the liberty of telling you this is not going to stick. All these things are going to be investigated, you will see this universe may be much more uh, aged than what is claimed with these uh, dating and so on. I'll talk about cosmic uh, microwave background radiation. To me, that is a, a better measurement of the expansion because as you know, in chemistry and in your labs, things expand, the temperature falls down. And I wrote here, from a paper which was recently published that the temperature observable uh, universe is 2.7 degrees. Some places it could be even less than that, but at least that much. That's close to absolute zero. So things have cooled down in the universe from 10 to the power 28 degrees Kelvin to 2.7 degrees. By the way, students, when I was at Calcutta University, we used to take deep space as four degrees Kelvin. I give NASA incredible credit for measuring precisely in different directions uh, to eight decimal places the temperature of the universe. Why is that important? Because it tells you about the expansion. It tells you about something about the age. And the age hasn't been well described. By the way, radioactive dating, we take materials, we can tell the ages and all that. All these things still are settling down students. And what is happening is no necessarily exact age of the universe. But I like this measurement of 2.7 degrees Kelvin. At least now I take a better measurement compared to what I was using in calculations, even in NASA. When I came to work for NASA in 1960, um, uh, 
69, I came to Lockheed for about six years. Then I was with NASA for 43 years. And I was still taking four degrees Kelvin as the deep, deep space. And it's now that these measurements, again, students, we have to work hard. If we have to investigate a field and gather the knowledge, we have to keep working from four degrees Kelvin to 2.7 degrees. That's big March. Now, NASA is looking, is there a difference in the 13, 14 decimal place in this temperature? Why? Because if there is a difference in different directions, then we will know that universe is expanding in some direction more than another. I could go on and on. I give lectures on one of these charts for one hour. So I better stop. So we were trying to get the physicists, all these people are trying to get a handle on how much material is there, what is there. And they found out that the acceleration toward the, toward the edges of the universe is more than the acceleration in between. And then they came out with the explanation of dark energy, which is a force that drags the outside more outside than the inside. It's a whole subject. Honestly, I can give a talk on dark energy for one hour, but the bottom line is it did, fit, uh, how do I say fit in the picture? of knowing what this universe is composed of. And this is your picture. See how little we know. We know uh, about 25% uh, of, uh, of it and, and dark energy, dark matter, free hydrogen, stars, neutrons, uh, all these heavy elements. But then do you see plus something like five, something like 70% of still unaccountable. No doubt we need to keep working on these kind of things to find, even to find out what kind of distribution we have in this universe. How old is it? What, what is it consistent of? By the way, I was here when neutrinos, we found out neutrinos, neutrinos. Wow, there was such a hoopla about that because at least you can account a little bit of mass to these neutrinos, therefore it becomes easier to understand what's going on out there in the universe. Next, what existed before the Big Bang? January 5th, 2022. We're not talking about 10 years ago paper. I got students for you. I did some research before coming to this talk. And guess what? It says that there's a lot of fluctuations going on, there's popping out, popping, popping in of, you know, these um, uh, galaxies and whatnot, annihilation, matter, antimatter is getting together right before. Uh, uh, Dr. Kumar, sorry to interrupt you, but uh, your voice is not audible. Dr. Nidhi, Surbhi? Yeah, I'm, I'm here only, so uh, I thought uh, my okay. connection has lost. Yeah, 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 I think there is some uh, technical issue. problem. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, I think he might be trying to reach me. Let's wait for some time. He'll be joining soon. This is what happens in online mode. Yeah, exactly. I can see some seniors also over here. Uh, you know, you know, Professor Rajiv, there are more than uh, 100 participants. There are total are 108 participants. Yeah, yeah. And, and all the faculty members from chemistry department. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this number is less with my respect. Because last, uh, many of our programs had almost like 200 participants. And this time I can see only 108. I think that's because the regular colleges are open. And uh, many have classes also, and they are, you know, traveling. 
Right, right. Hmm. So, Shmira, in the meanwhile, play that video. Let's have some. And I can oh. see some seniors, uh, you know, they are discussing about some Ukraine and Russia issues. Right? Russia and US cyber hamla kate. Shabash. Rahul Verma, <laughs> he, he is from the batch of 2010-2013. He is over here. And I can see one another person also. Q, sir, may I have to spotlight me? Hmm, he is in the spotlight. Kya chal raha hai I think he is unable oh, to move. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, she should have played that video for the time being. That's a, like it's a very uh, not only that's a very raw video that students have made uh, about the journey of uh, Camp Ground for the last ten to twelve years. It's still at the editing phase, but whatever she has made, let's see for the time being. Puskar banana. Till he comes. Actually, students are very creative and tech savvy. So, uh, um, indeed, uh, indeed. Yes, indeed. and. Uh, और मुझे तो इस वीडियो को स्टार्टिंग में अच्छा लगता है सर तो हॉलीवुड को नहीं स्टार्ट किया <laughs> देखो हाँ प्लीज गो एड चश्मा था विल की कर मौसम गया जहां मीठी बातें हर एक अजनबी से हो भूले हम भी जो सारी फिक्रे लम्हा लम्हा खुशियां बिखरे इधर उधर और यहां वहां जाए वही दिल कहे जहां बेई बे बेई बे बेई बे Dr. Krishan has joined back. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, it had a 40 minute limit, it said. I don't know what that means. So it disconnected us because of that. It said 40 minutes were allowed on the Zoom, something. So we better get back and finish the talk, right? Can I uh, ask you again, share the screen uh, mode? Let me you do that. Right. You have the rights, Dr. Kumar, and you can go ahead in the similar manner uh, that you started. Okay. Uh, okay. Let's see if we can get back quickly to where we were. And uh, this is one thing that the students have to learn. I'm serious. Things don't go exactly in life as you want them to go. Now, I looked, I have, you know, look at my age, you know, these gadgets are so complex, complicated, but you have to figure out, you have to struggle, students, and nothing comes on a silver platter, you know? We have to do it. It said 40 minutes, you reached 40 minute uh, uh, limit. So, are we back? Professor Singh, can I go ahead and explain this chart? Sir, please. Okay, so uh, uh, let me go back to previous one where we were. We were here. 
what existed oh maybe you in one one slide earlier okay we talked about the material we don't have much knowledge about almost like 70% of what's out there then we talked about what existed before the big bang now that's a big bang question right that's like a question of trillions of banks what was there students i will tell you what i learned in the last 50 years okay i am so afraid i don't want to even write it down and publish it what i think happened is the some universe collapsed down why would it collapse down for that we have some ideas the black holes thanks to professor chandrashekar he gave us the theory of black holes these black holes are crushing galaxy after galaxy black holes are are meeting with black holes so that crushing is going on my feeling is my gut feeling my thought process says that crushing went on until it reached to the limit jiske aage ja nahi saka therefore expansion bang you know what collapse everything to the limit and then bang now where did the thing that collapsed to this little thing that bang where did that come from there you go to the philosophy in india that's why we have a thing called maha maya things beyond imagination power of in a western language god in our language ancient language we would say maha ma maha ma. anik in bengali anik there is no limit to that shakti and that shakti created itself that entity creates itself time space and everything else if we don't reach that limit there's tough it's tough as it says in the next shot is there uh, you know it says if you could watch billions of years it will look like galaxies or expanding gradually adding uh, spaces in between etc but the question is again what where did all this energy come from and it's hard out of nothing we get nothing no physics no chemistry no biology will give you any theory where they say there was nothing and something happened no so we have to accept that there is some creative entity that gave itself produced itself and then produced other things like space time etc i don't want to go too uh, far in this but is there an end to this universe in my opinion yes after that and come more universes now students are you listening to me the reason for that is if this universe when it was little bit it had a mass like the earth you know and it was going how could it stay there so you have the kinetic field and the gravitational field that is holding for example earth and earth is going around the sun it has something to do with moon also but anyway going around the sun it's going around itself so there is a lot of rotation dancing going on in the earth and it's the solar system is also circulating solar system is in the milky way milky way is also going round and round all these things are expanding and then they are part of the universe they are expanding man i could go on and on and on if we describe the motion of the earth it'll be incredible the gravitational field there oh etc but the point is that little thing this universe how could it stay 
it must have had some kind of a gravitational and kinetic field that allowed it to stay in space. So I'm thinking there were other entities called other universes. So now I come to the concept, very important concept that I told you, time. And you will see how this pieces together the Indian philosophy, how it pieces together some of the pieces of puzzle, in my opinion. Now, time is defined as the time is the power that limits the existence of eternal elements in matter. In your labs, if I gave you no time, you will never be able to make water out of hydrogen and oxygen. Never. If I gave you no space, no time, you're done. You cannot. Even if I gave you oxygen, and hydrogen and adequate environment, you won't get to give me the water. So that shows you the importance of time. Now in the Vedic concept of time, as I said, one tenth of a nanosecond is called truti, that's considered as something that will make things to happen. And you saw in truti, those four forces came out. Man, that blows my mind. So from Tutti, see, I had to make a chart, quick chart for you. But it's explained in detail. Uh, there is like uh, one of the uh, measurements is Tala. Now I gave you the charts are with Professor Singh. He can share with any student. Uh, you're most welcome, Professor Singh, to share with anybody. At the end, after so many measurements in India comes Paksha. By the way, uh, this um, uh, Tala, Tala, you know, Tal, there were 22 Talas recognized by Bartha, writer of music long time back, and drama. You know, he is credited with uh, the original work on, uh, on music. So now, by the way, I'm using a touch screen, thank God. Sometimes the mouse doesn't work. So after we have these 15 days, then comes a Manush Varsha, the human year, 364 plus minus days. That's because it's a pie, you know, anything that goes in circle or has any resemblance to repeated uh, trajectory, it could be elliptical or any random, but comes back, it, gets involved with pi and pi is indefinite. So it's not quite sure exactly what uh, that uh, number will be. Then come these yogas. I wanted to tell you, you know, we are in Kali Yoga. My parents would very often say, Beta, we are in Kali Yoga. Kali Yoga mein kuch bhi paap ho sakta hai. And you are seeing right now, Russia is in, uh, uh, what's it, um, uh, name of the country, I'm, I'm forgetting. But anyway, uh, so uh, you're seeing how human beings behave in Kali Yuga. We had a virus called COVID-19. Are you still able to listen to me? You are audible, sir. Perfectly audible. Wonder wonderful. So we, we are... We, we, we were in COVID-19, then we had Delta, then we had uh, what, Omicron and all these things. Where was the human compassion? We have the richest people of the world. There are more than 100 or 200 people in the world that have probably a trillion dollars in US dollars. They could have given some money. Poor people didn't have enough to eat, etc. Point is, we're going through those Kali Yuga. Now, the, you mix all those Yugas together, we call it Maha Yuga, then comes uh, Manvantar, and after Manvantar comes Brahma Varsha, a year of Brahma, and life of uh, uh, Brahma is 100 years. I, when I was at Virginia Tech, calculated these, multiplied these, added, etc. By the way, it comes from Srimad Bhagavata Puranam. All this uh, thing is given there, and it is on my slides. You can check. <clears throat> and then uh, this, 
Vedic time describes pralays, pralay, mahapralay, and and uh, I will talk about first the pralay annihilation or creation of something. Four point three two is considered the first something I calculated first pralay. According to NASA, sun will expand. We'll talk a little bit more about it. We will lose magnetic field around the Earth. The whole solar system. Uh, Milky Way will combine with uh, Andromeda, another uh, Milky Way type of thing, and galaxy, and there will be collision of two galaxies in about four years. How did this Vedic thought announce this thousands of years ago that there will be an annihilation of all creation in about that time? This fascinates Mahaprabhu. End of the universe, or I should say, probably the whole system of universes. I calculated it to be 314.15 trillion years. Students, the pi is 3.141519, etc. So I verify. I was laughing when this number came up. That shows that things are cyclic, like it is given in the books of India. So time left for the first pralai is exactly almost very close to what NASA is saying. We will lose everything because sun will not be there. It will have expanded and grab the earth, etc. Even before then, things will happen. But let's go to solar system. You know, we have billions of expanding suns. Ancient literature of India says in three billion years or so, you should see the end of first creation. And here is some, by the way, I give NASA a lot of credit because we have taken, we took some satellites and we went beyond, behind sun. We have much more now data on the, um, uh, what do you call, uh, eruptions that are ha happening, nuclear bombs are exploding floating like anything, particles are going around, radiation is going, cosmic radiation. We, we have much better definition now about the sun and we know it's coming to Earth. In two, three billion years, you will see uh, uh, Earth's magnetic field will be gone. And then up in about four uh, billion years, the Milky Way and Andromedia will collide together and you will have a super Milko Meda, they have named it massive uh, galaxy. So, uh, you know, all these numbers were so difficult for me to comprehend. But once I was with NASA for 50 years, you could throw zillion on me, zillion raised power, zillion, and I would laugh at you and think, wow, what a great number. Now let's talk about the cream of the crop the life on this earth. You know, we have the materials, how did, and we have the energy, but the evolution of life is incredible. I did some research over the years and I found out we, I had a, myself, forget anybody else. I thought humans have been here only for about few decades, thousands of years, like, you know, 20,000, 30. Now we are seeing 190, 2000 is being, uh, you know, uh, uh, tossed on us. Uh, skeleton remains, uh, 50,000. Uh, Asia, in, in India, they found um, skulls that uh, they call Rama Pitsin, 33,000 years old. And in Kenya, Kenya Pitsin, something like 60,000 years. Why am I bringing this? Because we are talking about the universe. We are talking about universe and life in universe is a critical part and we are a part of that life in universe. So if you look to this, people are saying that life may have existed billions of years ago, right? Not uh, uh, millions or, uh, or uh, you know, thousands. So uh, there's 400 million years, uh, I, I did, extensive research, but what I want to leave with you is it's an evolving science. People are still looking at uh, what was there. You know, there was a, uh, a, a, an asteroid came here, 
uh, about 65 to 70 million years back and destroyed all the life. We might, I might have a little bit about that again, sound bite. But main thing is uh, the discovery was found in well-preserved sedimentary rocks in central India, 3.5 billion years. So we are looking at a very different scenario. So uh, 195,000 years, <clears throat> 50,000 years, recently they found a painting that was 45 and a half years. They do this radio uh, sounding of these things and find the age. In Indonesia, they found a painting that was that old. So humans have been here for a long time and so has life. So uh, my point is, do we have an idea how human life started? Let's forget about the universe. Let's forget about the earth. Let's look, think that we know how the solar system came about, how earth came about, Milky Way, etc., and, and the universe and universe. We can't tell much about how life was formed. And again, you are stuck unless you go to the end and go to the Indian philosophy which says, Mahamaya can create life. Now you don't have to accept that, but I'm throwing. But one thing that was intriguing to me, am I still audible? Sir, you are perfectly audible, please. Wonderful. The legend, you know, if you go to India, Ramayana, you will see that a bridge was constructed. Well, it's not a bridge necessarily. It's a way, it's a path between India and Sri Lanka. And what happened in my opinion, and this is my interpretation, at that time, the water was very little. So uh, when one half human threw the stone, Hanumanji is considered God, uh, God's uh, status, deity. So, so through the stone, all these uh, uh, humans, wh whoever was there, Rama was full fledged human, Autara, but I'm saying they threw the stones and made a path. Now, for the first time, NASA was able to see this with satellite imagery. Why? Because of sedimentation, because of water has gone several meters high now. It was not visible, but clearly now you can see the path. And how old is it? 17 and a half lakh years, the bridge was constructed. So does that tell you, students, something about the human life? Forget the life itself. It's shocking to me that in India, people were living at that time and we have evidence left behind. Vilaini, uh, you know, Westerners have a hard time believing this, but that's okay because it's linked with Lord Rama and that's linked with uh, Dharma. And it gets a little bit harder to believe for people. I wanted to also quickly go through this. Professor uh, Singh, how am, I, how am I doing time? Can I finish in 20 minutes or is that too much? Well, you, you're doing good. Okay. Doing good. You now, still have like that. You okay. can go ahead for a half an hour. Yeah. Okay. So, <clears throat> students, Earth, you know, I, I get this. People say, oh, if we stop, using these fossil fuels, stop doing it. I tell them, if we die, all of us take poison. 7.8 billion people on this earth take poison and die. Get gone. You are not going to stop a lot of things from happening. What are those? Asteroid seating earth. One of the biggest ones hit. Like I was saying, 65, 70 million years back. Raised the dust, envelop the whole earth. Got all the vegetation was gone. Once the vegetation was gone, the animals were gone, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. I got to tell you something that will hit your mind. In the Indian philosophy, it says life evolved from ocean or water, and now the evidence is showing that some of the life may have preserved way down the ocean on the floor, a meter or two or three meters down into the floor. And that started 
to come up in billions of years. In India, so it's attributed that life has come from water. You have volcanoes, you have platelet motion giving earthquakes. Tsunami came in India a few years back. One lakh people died, tornadoes here in a place that I was before. I'm now in Texas, in Kansas, in Oklahoma, tornadoes come and destroy. All. Recently, there was one tornado uh, in Kentucky and destroyed the whole town. Nothing left out. Natural fires, you know, there's a lightning, there's a fire in the forest. Uh, hurricanes, you call them cyclones, sometimes floods, sinkholes, tornadoes, sandstorms. I could go on and on. So we have a living planet. Things are changing, even if there is no life. Now, life has added more complexity. I didn't list here for you, students, because I'm myself afraid to list it. It's called corruption. The human life has added one dimension <clears throat> called corruption. Even in the last two years, when we needed people to be kind, gentle, giving, what have we seen? corrupted psychology. But anyway, lack of resources, you know, that's a big thing. Uh, Makan, Kabda, uh, uh, Khana, you know, uh, ye sab, uh, uh, good quality air, good quality water. 7.8 billion people have. So Mary Life met 2.3 billion where when I was born in Chandapura, in Siri, uh, suburb of Kashmir, a little village. 2.3 billion people lived on this earth. At this point, 7.8 and growing. So after 100 years, you are looking at 15 billion people probably at this rate. So where are the resources? Pollution. You see yourself in pollution in the cities of India. You, you, you know, congestion. One time I was in Calcutta and it's hard to even negotiate. Even if you take a road, Global warming, of course, uh, you are very much tuned to that. So I'm not going to spend too much time on that. So now, another profound thing about India is that we have been told everything is Maya. Nothing is reality. So when I gave one time a talk, I told people, by the time I see your uh, I see your face, the light that struck on your face has to travel from your face to my eyes. That then gets processed in the eye, gets into the brain, gets, uh, you know, sorted out like a computer by the time I can tell this is Professor Singh, this is Pro uh, Principal Jaha. Uh, it takes a little bit of time. By that time, the reality may have changed. Some atoms may have shifted in the face of these people. Some electrons may have shifted in a material, whatnot. So these days you will see news after news. We observe this. There's an Earth-like planet here. There's this um, galaxy is looking like this. This black hole has this. Uh, this appears, ah, give me a break. It's all millions of years back that, uh, that we are collecting with these, with these um, uh, what you call, uh, uh, you know, uh, sensors. So uh, what uh, we are seeing is, has happened way past. And uh, one of my uh, uh, pet peeves is Heisenberg's principle where if you observed for example, the velocity of something, you will not know the position, et cetera. So scenes are, uh, yeah, let, let me show you this. This will intrigue you. This is uh, 2021, March 5, the ship is floating on the air. So, Amare India mein bola gaya ke bhai, things are maya. The reality is sometimes different. And log bhot muskil hai western world ko or even people from India to absorb that, that. That things are not the same necessarily. The tip of the iceberg, my daughter drew this uh, 
she was in the eighth grade, ye iceberg hai. The, the tip of the iceberg we see, we don't see. So this is the tip of the knowledge we see, we don't see the rest of the knowledge. Now, the mysterious is the true source of all art and science. There's mystery out there in the universe. There's mystery out there. Why are we here? There's mystery out there. How are we here? So we, what do we use? Imagination is more important. I'll come to that than even the knowledge. So let me give you one example of India. Who invented the wheel? I don't know. But I know one thing for sure, because I did research for many years on this. Humans from different parts of the world at different times independently invented quite a few things. And I took the example of wheel and went through methodically students to find out kisne kya kya. They, they found out 8,000 years before Christ, which is like 10,000 years now, there was evidence of the wheel. The oldest wheel known was, is like three, uh, three, uh, 5,500 years old. Egyptians did about 4,000 years. In India, uh, about 3,500 years, we had this called Ashok Chakra. And that Ashok Chakra was drawn or even produced uh, uh, in, uh, uh, what, 300 years before Christ. My point is, look at something was needed, mobility, and something was needed to get efficiency in that mobility. So I'm sometimes laughing with myself. The first people may have made a rectangle, a pentagon type of shape. Then they may have found slowly, if they make circle, that's the best. It gives more mobility. And this wheel is being researched right now in many places, but at least in NASA for efficiency. Now we have tires that are made without air, but why in NASA worry about wheels? You go to the moon, you will get stuck on the, in the moon dust. You go to the Mars, you could get stuck. So we need wheels that will negotiate through this dust. The dust could be as thick as a meter. Students, are you still with me? Professor Singh, you, you think students are listening? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All of them are. Yes, sir. And they're Wonderful. Questions students, students I, I did some research about India. If, uh, uh, the Vidya, ka India mein bohot charcha chal raha tha, bohot thousands years back. And I came up with this uh, Takshashila University because there was a guru there or a professor like Professor Jaha and Professor Singh and so many other great professors you have. So uska naam tha Vishnu Sharman. He went upwards to the Valley of Kashmir and wrote a book called Panch Tantra, Five Stories. That's Niti Shastra, I call it. Niti Shastra means the art of living. There's a lot of philosophy in that, but it's rough. It's kind of written in uh, with birds and animals. But anyway, Takshashila University is the most famous and the world's first university established 4,700 years in Takshila. Now it's in Pakistan. Here's your evidence. You can see I did some research for you guys. Here is another one, very famous, Nalanda University. In fact, Chinese still love that because it's a Buddhist university. And it's in modern day Bihar, as you know, Magda, Kingdom of Magda. And that one was established 3,200 years uh, from, from now. Can you believe that Western world has a hard time believing how India was so deeply interested in knowing more about things more about universe, more about time, more about space, more about humans, more about psychology than any 
other country in the world. Here's an example. Uh, this comes from poet Lalla uh, Yogeshwari. We call her in Kashmiri Lalla dead. This is like 14th century, uh, not too long ago, six, 700 years back. And she said uh, that I looked everywhere. It's a Kashmiri poem. And Professor Ban, who was teaching me chemistry in Emerson College, translated this for me. And he said, I looked everywhere. I couldn't find anything. Then, uh, behold, the truth was. The truthful one, the wise one, here in my own house. Mere hi man mein mere ko sara knowledge mila. That was my day of lucky star. Breathless, I held him, my guide. So the lamp of my knowledge blazed afar. Students, we can use our mind. And we can assimilate, simulate, process a lot of data and then come up with something great called knowledge. So <clears throat> since I am talking about why are we here, how are we here? How are we here? We have to have a purposeful life. You saw that photo where I showed you how I looked at in 62, then 1967. And now I had three children. One of the things that we have, God has given us, is the ability to pay back our parents. How do we pay back our parents? Very difficult. They leave, they go to heaven. One way we do that is prolong the prodigy, which means have children, like I have three children. And I felt the way my parents did to me, my job and my uh, karza, the debt that I owe to my parents. Let me usko chukana hai, to let me bring up my children the best way I could. Let me do for my wife the best things I could. And that purpose of life, whatever purpose you choose, is very important for both success and satisfaction. Since we are mixing here, here is an example of how Jar Singh. He is still living. He is now about 109 years old. But he took part after 65 years. He went to England uh, for his uh, uh, at some relation, I believe it was son or something. And the son said, okay, dad, you, you go on this treadmill and keep watching TV and at least you will get some exercise. And then he started going to these marathon. Marathons are what, 26 point some miles long. And he has world record for his age in every uh, marathon that you can think of. So now, here is Sunita Williams. She had a record in International Space Station. She stayed there more than six months. Now that record has been broken. There is another lady who stayed nearly uh, 12 months. So, but there's a purpose. She's driven by a purpose. Sunita, we call her Suni. Uh, here, students, are, you listen to this. You will get a kick out of it. We're running together. We're running five kilometers. Ye mere aage chali gayi, Sunita, ek kilometer. Mere ko gusaya. Of course, I have other reasons why I was slow. God only knows that, you know, that I'm able to run because I had a heart operation long time back. But anyway, Sunita ko bhi ye pata nahi hai. So after I reached there, after I finished my fight, I told Sunita, look, Sunita, next time I'm going to beat you. She took my right hand to apni leg par laga diya. Bolti hai, Kumar, do you feel my muscle? You will not be able to compete with me. Aise hote hai, purposeful. She's training for many other things. She is uh, also an instructor for other astronauts. Uh, Dr. Kalpana Chawla, my friend, you know, we uh, were doing some research ideas together on robotics and artificial uh, intelligence and and uh, robotic vision and look 
करनाल से आई है फायर वेन आई वुड लुक एट हर अभी भी फोटो उसको देखो आंखें उसकी देखो स्टूडेंट्स आपको करंट आ जाएगी जैसे करंट होती है ना बिजली आपको इंस्पायरेशन हो जाएगी चिंता नहीं होती है इन लोगों को रॉकेट पर बैठते हैं वी हैड एक्सीडेंट्स वी हैड अपोलो वन वी लॉस थ्री एस्ट्रोनॉट देन वी हैड चैलेंजर एंड वी हैड हर एक्सीडेंट राइट कोलंबिया लेकिन धरने वाले ये लोग नहीं है और मेरे पिताजी बोलते थे जो डरा सो मरा सो वाई आर वी हियर हाउ आर वी हियर वी आर हियर बी फॉर अ पर्पस वी आर ट्यून्ड वी वॉन्ट टू प्रोलॉन्ग आवर ह्यूमन रेस वी वॉन्ट टू डू ग्रेट थिंग्स दैट वी सिलेक्ट टू डू एलेक्ट टू डू वॉन्ट टू डू दैट्स वाई वी आर हियर वी आर नॉट हियर बेकार I'm coming to the end of my talk. I want you to also go through this slide one day and think about it. Put it on the laptop and think about it. What I am saying, I am saying India can be a source of knowledge, vidya, in the future, and I have no doubt about it. I won't be on this earth. Vaja kya hai? What is the reason for my saying that? It's a land of all kinds of faiths. इमेजिन वो कोई रिलीजन है नहीं जो इंडिया में है और कोई कंट्री है को ऐसी क्या दिखाओ मुझे दिस गिव्स यू टू वेराइटी दिस गिव्स यू टू पीसेस ऑफ पजल दैट कैन बी फिटेड यू आर लुक यू आर नॉट लुकिंग एट वन आइडिया यू आर लुकिंग एट मेनी आइडियाज अ लैंड ऑफ ह्यूमन डाइवर्सिटी मैं मेरे को कोई देखता है बोलता है क्या तू अंग्रेज का लड़का है क्या when i was in the elementary school an englishman came to see shalmar garden he said he can't be an indian boy he is a british oh, british ne usne bola he he white ka and then he was uh, you know <laughs> luckily some shopkeepers came and saved me my dad was the uh, headmaster of the school uh, elementary school he came and he talk to him in english and etc so what i'm saying human diversity you see all kinds of colors all kinds of languages kitni languages 300 or plus big languages incredible uh, uh, literature a land of saints and love mai is par thoda sa bolna wala i am a product of the eastern philosophy obviously i spent my childhood I, I left as an adult India. I have been here from 1965 continuously. The definition of love is so different in the Eastern and Western, particularly in the Indian subcontinent. Hamara jo pyar hota hai na, like you introduced me, I could see in your eyes pyar, and you can see in my life eyes pyar. You know, I was there in A R S D. and the principal sir you know he treated me with all kinds of good uh, eating things and i was eating like anything sweets and all that i will go next time again to his office and do the same thing to so, wo pyar jo hai na yes it's a saintly land kabir this that kitne sainton ka naam le lo anti nahi hai a land of knowledge and wisdom why did i have those slides about takshashila and nalanda why you look to the literature upanishads you look to vedas you look to anything bhagavad gita to aadmi pareshan ho jata hai then there is all kinds of other religions have added more dimensionality more spirituality more saintly so a land of innovation is par maine ek baar lecture bhi diya tha ki india aise nahi hai truti aise nahi aa gayi asman se aur baithi land of india par hai na he sab innovative mind hai indians ka to so i think you are going to expect and and you are a part of it students 
all of you will excel so i wanted to leave this thought ek bar mein dal lake this is dal lake dal lake par nehru park hai nehru park par ho होटल है अच्छी तरह से सुनो स्टूडेंट्स आई माइट यू क्विज यू वन डे व्हेन आई एम देयर तो होटल है तो होटल पर बैठा हूं चाय पी रहा हूं मजे से मेरे पास पैसे थे मैं अमेरिका से गया था तो मेरे पास डॉलर थे तो आराम से बैठा हूं वो बंदा आता है तो चाय मेरे में कप क्या है मैं क्या बताऊं कितने ये तो अंग्रेजों का मामला था कश्मीर में आते थे उसी तरह उसने मैं ये डल लेक पर देख रहा हूं और ऑल ऑफ सडन लेक मोशनलेस इन अदर वर्ड्स फ्लैट तो मैं पहाड़ों को इसमें देख रहा हूं मैं ट्रीज को देख जस्ट लाइक अ मिरर तो मेरे को एक आइडिया है कि अगर हम अपने मन को शांत करेंगे तो क्या होगा और हमारे नियत साफ होगी यू नो I have grown up with Muslim brothers and sisters. So, niyat saap hogi, huh? We will be thinking about hope, peace, and prosperity for humans. So, kya hoga? Mysterious mystic. Main baitha tha. Kabi kisi job mein apply nahi kiya. Main baitha hu Kolkata mein. Aane ke liye paisa nahi hai. अरे बाबा कैन यू बिलीव प्राम लाद बहादुर शास्त्री सेंडिंग अ चैट बेटा तू चले जा और जब मैं लेटर भेजूंगा प्रोफेसर सिंह को उसमें लिखा है माय डियर कुमार कृष्ण आई ऑलमोस्ट क्राइड सो ओ नाउ so now at the end now you know why i dedicate by the way when professor singh will send you these charts you will see additional three charts you might want to take a look at these three charts i am done professor singh and uh, i apologize i may not have given you a whole new you know vidya but jo mere paas tha i try to share the bottom line is hum thoda jante hain itna thoda jante hain ki map par usko dikha bhi nahi sakte hai lekin logon ka ego jo hai na ego ha ego itna bada hai kisi kisi ka ki wo samjhte hain ki hum sab jante so i rest my case i am ready to answer any questions i will leave the screen just like that because otherwise i have dekho na kya hua in the middle we got disconnected so it's better not to do anything i am ready to answer any questions uh or yes sir uh, uh students now you can send your questions in the chat box uh, uh nidhi dr nidhi can i ask a few questions yeah please uh thank you so much dr kishan it was really a wonderful talk and this is the second time we are hearing you <clears throat> so i have few curious questions from your talk uh i am very much actually interested in you know are indian scriptures and all i keep on reading few of them so in uh, in one of your slides am i audible sir yes you are clear loud and clear we, we right, say sir. so uh, my first question is in one of your slides you have mentioned that this is uh, for the first prelay this much time is left right right So how do we know that this is the first prayer? Oh, that it's given in that uh, reference, and uh, I will send uh, this uh, uh, paper I wrote um, on understanding. I have no time. In that, I wrote a page. I didn't give 
much detail on this presentation. I had only two slides, but I have given you the whole, how it is written. It is written starting from Truti, it goes to the life of Brahma, 100 years of life of Brahma, which I calculated 314.15 uh, something, something trillion years. But my point is, uh, is Go there ahead. any possibility like, uh, I just wanted to know, there would have been many less before this also. So that was my question. This may not oh, be the first well, one. Uh, that That is why I'm saying, where did, Go back to what I was saying. Let me repeat. Where did this something come from which banged 13 to 20 billion years according to physicists? Unke saath jada argue karna bhi nahi chahiye. No <laughs> That's so, true, right? Ye wo little thing kahan se aayega? Wo to aaya na ki inke pichle paralyze ho gaye the. Or maha paralyze bhi shayad hoa tha. To Mahaparana sab ko crunch kiya. To ye aaya. Yes, right, right. So, is ki thodi si evidence black holes mein hai. In the sense that, that these black holes are grabbing these galaxies. Then black holes are grabbing each other. Yeah. So, right. in billions and billions of years, ye universe material jo hai na, collapse ho jayega. To itna collapse ho jayega, that it can't collapse anymore. So, fear se bang ho jayega. But according to the Indian thing, he sab usme diya hai. And my paper, you can go back to this reference and you will see. And that calendar has been given also in, in another reference that I have uh, by that lady. She talks about festivals of India. So, usne bhi piche ye calendar diya hai. This is well known. This has been used for uh, for India, uh, by India for many, many years. The thing is, it's not known to the Western world. Usme hamari bhi galti hai bo. Right, right, sir. sir. I'll definitely go through it. Uh, one or two more questions, Nidhi, just I'll take Yeah, 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 yeah. I was, I was just continuing that uh, your question only. Okay, you please yes. continue. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sir, another question I would like to know that uh, because you have mentioned many uh, Indian scriptures and all, so does NASA also takes inspiration from Indian scriptures? And if it is so, why don't they give credit to Indians? Right? Uh, they could mention it in their references and all. I have never now, read anywhere. You know, uh, we are recording this. Uh, uh, is it being recorded? So, this meeting? Uh, yes. We can stop recording if you wish. No, no, no. 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 It is indeed live on YouTube at present. Hey, hey, MIT ka ek paper uh -huh. so we, we understand many languages. You can speak uh, in mixed language up. like Hindi, English. So, so uh, if, if you go back to these kind of things, Kisi ko kya chatti hai tumhe credit dene ki. Ek MIT paper mene pada. I read a paper from MIT. I kid you not. Right. To oh bichare ne professor ne likha tha. Main kam se kam 70% and it dawned on me. It was a big paper. I am going to paraphrase him. 70 fisadi effort karta hu so that people will know what I have done. In other words, ये करना ही नहीं होता है, थोड़ा सा propagate करना होता है, तो हमारा propagation क्यों नहीं हुआ, उसका भी answer हमारे किताबों में है, particularly भगवत गीता में, कि भाई कारम कर लो, उसका फाल मत डूंडो, right, right, बिल्कुल, लोरी मत डूंडो, नाम मत डूंडो, इनाम मत डूंडो, लेकिन इसमें प्रॉब्लम ये है कि उसी किताब में लिखा है कि सबसे बड़ा दान अगर दोगे ना विद्या का दान दे दो पैसा नहीं खाना नहीं ब्लड नहीं आंख नहीं विद्या दे दो वो सबसे बड़ा दान है अगर हमने वो सोच के लोगों को बोला होता कि भाई हमारे पास ऐसी ऐसी चीजें बना के नहीं वी शुड बी ऑनेस्ट वी शुड बी ब्रेव 
I don't know if I answered the question, but for yes, the I got an idea, sir. Yes, Hi. I got the answer. Yes, uh, another one, the last one, the last one. Uh, also, in one of your slides, you said Milky Way and Andromeda galaxies will be colliding, and the universe will uh, collapse. So these are just two. The galaxies. universe will not collapse because of that. There will be a lot more other things happening over billions of years. But I'm saying that's an example of. They, oh, go ahead, your question. Yeah, so, um, so I guess there are multiple galaxies and there may be multiple Earth-like planets also. Is there a possibility? Oh, absolutely. They, it's, it is foolish to think that there won't be. I will tell you one thing. If the Maha Maya has made it, why did it make it so big? Only one प्रथ्वी के लिए just one little planet जिसको हम दिखा भी नहीं सकते हैं मैप पर कुछ तो इसमें बड़ा स्कीम है ना yes yes there, there is much bigger scheme that is almost unimaginable तो थोड़ा थोड़ा इसका मुझे लगता है कि इंडिया का ये है ना कि भाई full stop है full stop महामाया से महामाया created Mahamaya and Mahamaya is the creator. See the Lika hai kitabu. The man a time kia create man is space key, man is material, man is subka creator, man is subka preserver, man is subka destroyer. Destroyer, huh? To aga Brahma, Vishnu, or Mahesh. Mahesh. Yes. Thank you so much, sir, for your answers. I think I, I should stop here now. I must give chance to students also. Thank you so much. Over to you, Nidhi. Yeah. Uh, sir, uh, students are saying that uh, your Hindi is very good. So please answer in Hindi. So, uh, any questions? Yes, sir. So, I'm going through the questions. Uh, one question from uh, Jay Gore. Sir, uh, for now, how much do we know about black matter and how we know uh, our position in the universe? And is there any way to calculate the diameter of the universe? Well, none of the answer is none of this we know exactly. People take you know, people take uh, some theories, some mathematical karte hai, idhar udhar laake, to kuch batate hai hai. Lekin, truly, we don't have an answer. Hamare paas kya hai? Think about it. We have these telescopes. We have Chandra, we have Hubble. Now we will have another one, very powerful one, called James Webb. Space telescope, etc. Ye sab hai. Lekin hai kya ye? They are buckets of collecting photons. Huh? Light aati hai billions of light years se, ya billions of years se. Aake usko jama karte hai, phir jama karke wo thoda sa isme light aati hai. To bolte hai, yahan to kuch hai. Yahan aisa black hole jaisa lagta hai, kyunki ye ho raha hai. But by the time all this light has traveled. That thing has changed already. You know? If we can, if we uh, see the Earth, we could say that life on Earth could be, uh, you know, maximum billion years, half a billion years, something like that. It has changed Earth. So by the time this light travels, everything has changed. But back to the question, you know, are we in the center of the universe? Who I was with a professor, let me leave this with the student. Hubble theory di, usne bola ki ye expansion, you know, uh, red shift usko bolte hai, ki agar koi, uh, light humse dur jati hai na, to uski frequency kam ho jati hai. Jaise ek train aati hai na, तो उसकी आवाज जो आती है आते-आते एक डिफरेंट आवाज आती है जाते-जाते डिफरेंट जाते आती है ठीक है आते-आते जरा हाई पिच आती है और जब वो ट्रेन जाती है ना लो पिच आ जाती है तो हबल ने क्या किया उसने बोला कि अगर 
चीजें हमारे से दूर जाती हैं तो जो रेडशिप उसको तो उसकी जितना दूर जा, जा रहे हैं स्पीड हम उस रेडशिप से निकालेंगे स्टूडेंट्स प्लीज प्लीज टेक वन थिंग फ्रॉम मी इफ नथिंग एल्स इन द स्टॉक जो कोई भी थ्योरी है जो कोई भी मैथमेटिक्स है जो कोई भी मॉडल है हर एक प्रोफेसर आपको यह बताएगा कि इसका एक डोमेन होता है वैलिडिटी का इन अदर वर्ड्स हबल्स थियोरी इज नॉट वैलिड एवरीवेयर हीट इक्वेशन इज नॉट वैलिड एट द लोएस्ट टेम्परेचर लाइक 2.7 पॉइंट सेवन डिग्री स्केलविन जीरो डिग्री स्केलविन में वो वैलिड नहीं होती है तो कोलंबिया में हीट इक्वेशन हमारी ऐसी होगी कि एक टाइल ही ऊपर चला गया बिकॉज वाई फ्रिक्शन से हीट आ जाती है तो जैसे वो शटल आ गया तो इतनी हीट जनरेट हो गई उस टाइल पर भी जो इंसुलेटिंग टाइल था कि वो ग्लू नहीं हैंडल कर पाया तो आ गई तो मैथ में वी डिन वी वी स्टिल आई डोंट थिंक वी हैव एन इक्वेशन दैट डिस्क्राइब द हीट ट्रांसफर एट कैन टू द पावर यू नो ट्वेंटी और सो डिग्रीज कैलविन एटसेट्रा and then we don't have heat uh, equations that give this both einstein condensation jaise bilkul temperature down kar lo to atoms aapas mein bahar aa jate hain atoms get together when there is some temperature aap samjhe na so so my point is har ek equation chahe wo maxwell's equation ho chahe wo einstein's इक्वेशन हो न्यूटन हो देर इज अ डोमेन ऑफ वैलिडिटी मेरा पहला यह है कि अगर मैं किसी का पी एच डी डिसर्टेशन देखता हूं थीसिस उसमें मैं ये देखता हूं कि इसने क्या क्या अस्यूम किया है एसम्पन का लिस्ट देन आई कैन टेव वेदर वॉट ही डेड वॉज वैलिड और नॉट सो बैक टू दिस क्वेश्चन लॉर्ड ऑफ दीज Uh, models that are given are given sometimes where the equations are not necessarily valid i'm done sir uh, professor singh mai ek joke bataun yes sir sure okay i was with uh, प्रोफेसर टिंग एस 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 टिंग नोबल लॉरियट तो नासा में आके उसने थोड़ा सा लेक्चर दे दिया वी वर ओनली अबाउट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव पीपल लिसनिंग टू हिम इन डायरेक्टर्स कॉन्फ्रेंस रूम तो एंड पर मैंने उसको पूछा ये ही इज अ पार्टिकल फिजिस्ट मैंने कहा सर अकॉर्डिंग टू द बिग बैंग थ्योरी time and space were created when there was big bang these are exactly how i asked him. and sir hamare indian philosophy aur kitabon mein mai likha hai ke time jo hai ye permanent hai ha it is cyclic it is periodic it has been there it will be there तो ये कैसे ये जनरेट हो गया टाइम विद बिग बैंग डू यू नो सिंह साहब हाउ ही आंसर आई हैव टू पैराफ्रेस बट इट वॉज हिलेरियस ही सेट कुमार दैट इज वाई आई एम अ पार्टिकल फिजिक्स इन अदर वर्ड्स ऑल दीज वॉट ही डिड से what i understood from what he said ye ye sab guess work chal rahi hai idhar idhar ki equations aate hai but mai particle dekh raha hu so he got the nobel prize because he demonstrated the existence of a small particle right now he might get another nobel prize when he demonstrates antimatter using this incredible device for which millions of dollars have been spent it's on space station it's collecting by the way students if you are still listening usko maine ye bola professor ting i saw your uh, thing but the chance of 
getting an antimatter particle is next to zero. He looked uh, at me and it was wonderful what he said and I'm going to paraphrase again. But I kya bola? Bola, Kumar, agar antimatter particle nahi niklega, koi or particle zarur a jayega. Kyunki ye device itni sensitive humne banai hai. Kuch na kuch niklega, jo hum abhi bata nahi sakte. Incredible. In other words, when you are finding something that you want, if you didn't find necessarily what you really were looking for, you will find something else that may be important. Great, indeed. Uh, I have a simple, like, uh, like, we have been studying also on this topic also. Uh, like in the Upanishad, it's written that uh, energy and matter is one. That is the oneness of the matter. Okay. So do you have any comment upon this line that the energy and matter is one? And it is uh, said and it is written also, I have written, uh, it's written over here at the Tesla Foundation website that uh, when Vivekananda challenged uh, Tesla with this equation that uh, matter and energy is one and you have to prove it mathematically. So he was not able to do it and finally Einstein was able to do it using his famous equation. So would you like to comment upon that? Uh, this thing, the uh, again, you can prove things with equations, yeah. but uh, matter and um, energy is one. The only uh, thing I got to tell you is go back to that epoch. Pahla epoch jo hai na, 10 to the power minus 43. To waha par wo bolte hai, mm -hmm. the best they can tell you is ki under energy hi thi. Then they say helium, these uh, simpler atoms like helium, hydrogen, etc., etc., combined, and then matter was born, right? right. This much, yes. Right. But matter ko agar hum depo, decompose karenge to elements a jate hai, right? Table a jata hai, elemental table. So unless we have those elements, how do we compose matter? So again, energy can aid and is necessary to make matter. And matter is necessary to make energy. But are they interchangeable? Mathematically, you can prove a lot of things. Right? Yeah. Mathematically, I can say, India mein bataya gaya hai ki infinity aisi cheez hai India mein sirf, or kahi nahi. Ki infinity se mein infinity nikalo tab bhi infinity rahe. Western world mein bataya gaya hai ki infinity ko infinity jama kar lo infinity ban jaye. These two statements mathematically are same but psychologically are different. How mathematically? I write infinity minus infinity equal to infinity. This second infinity I take on the other side. So, again, infinity equal to two infinity. Hum ye sab karte the high school mein. So, infinity equal to two infinity. So, again, a Western thought. Infinity ko infinity add karo. So, infinity ban jayegi. So, Eastern thought aga. Hamara thought aga. Infinity ko infinity nikalo. Tab bhi infinity rahe. So, energy and matter are they exchangeable? Question mark. But all the necessary for each other, I can say definitely yes. Interesting. Thank you so much. Uh, we have one of our uh, alumni also, Rahul Verma, uh, is over here, and I would like him to ask a question. And uh, uh, he was the one, like when he was in his graduation, he used to discuss a lot about those Bermuda triangles <coughs> and all these universes, and still he is interested in all this. So Rahul, you can go ahead with your question. Dr. Nidhi, yeah, all yours. Yeah, uh, Mr. Rahul, are you here? Uh, yeah, he is here, but his mic is muted. Yes, uh, Mr. Rahul, unmute yourself and then ask questions. I'm audible now? Yeah, yes. you are audible. Now you are. Oh, so uh, good, good afternoon, everyone. Sir, 
I'm very thankful and fortunate enough to have be a part of this talk first. So, sir, my question is regarding not about the past, but it's about the future where we are heading. Like the talks have been going with the the SpaceX, the private organization, the Elon Musk uh, or the Branson, that they are developing a colony in different uh, planet, maybe in Mars or some other planet in other universe, in other solar system. So do you think, I mean, what's your perspective is, uh, do you think that, is it possible or, and the other point is, the point is, if it possible, then it is possible within this century or a two or a, in a 200 years or so. Okay. I mean, are we playing the purpose of life or the purpose of universe in just a short period of time? <laughs> Okay, uh, I, uh, I will comment on two things and then I will probably ask you a question before I comment on the third thing. Okay. Is okay. it possible? Yes, anything is possible. You know, if you look at my life, uh, you could say, is it possible to go to moon? We landed on the moon, 12 people within my short life. So, is it possible to have colonies on Mars? Yes. Even on Moon, where there is vacuum, you know, you can find resources. You can take some things from Earth, etc. You can use recycling of resources. You can use in situ resources. You can do a lot of things if you spend a lot of time and money doing them. That's one thing I will tell you. A lot of money and time and a lot of risks. People will die here and there. Yeah. So the, the, the question is then, to me, this is a good thing to do, but not permanent settlements, if you are asking my opinion. In other words, go, moon, go to moon, stay there for a while. Learn if you can use the resources of the moon. Learn if you can recycle the resources. That knowledge is incredible. Then you can go to the desert of Rajasthan. To wahan par aaram se aap baat sakte ho. Jahan itni garmi hogi, reti reit hai. Agar aap moon par reh sakte ho, aaram se, to yahan kiyo nahi raho ge? Yahan to tumhe space suit bhi zorat nahi hai. Rajasthan ke desert mein, right? Khar mein. Toh mera matlab hai, then you look to Mars, or we badiya, lot of things in the, there is some atmosphere and so on and so forth. We learn a lot about dust storms and so many other things that we have not learned by going there, but staying for some time. Ye colony ka mujhe problem ho jata hai. Kiyo? Dekho, humare paas bara fisadi hai. Bara fisadi jo khana nahi junko mil raha hai. Pina ne, pina ko achcha paani nahi mil raha. Kapde nahi hai. Rehne ki jaga nahi hai. Right? To hum sojte hai, hum leke udar baithenge. Hum to part of solar system hai. Abhi itna discussion chal raha hai. Do se lekar char billion years tak sab ka kuchu mar ho jayega. Sun expand ho jayega. To tu kaha jaoge? Mars par hoge to ke bachoge kya kis ko bevku bana rahe ho do you get the answer Did i you agree get with your answer? point sir i agree with your point so, so my point of view in nasa is go explore learn vidya hasil karo in jagah jaane se jo knowledge milta hai i was in the technology transfer for more than 20 some years to sara aapka laptop anything because space may jane se. Number one, lightweight banao har cheez. Number two, small banao. Number three, less power. All these things combined together gave evolution of technology. Astronaut ko zinda rakho. Kaha? Wo ek line mein bataunga paraphrase. Wo uh, Bollywood ki line hai usme bolta hai. Is ko liquid oxygen mein dalo. Okay? <laughs> is ko liquid oxygen mein dalo. Liquid is ko jine nahi dega. 
ऑक्सीजन इसको मरने नहीं दे है ना सो ऐसे ही एनवायरनमेंट हम जा रहे हैं वापस आ रहे हैं तो अगर ये सब हम कर रहे हैं तो वो शुड बी एबल टू यूज दैट बॉडी ऑफ नॉलेज हियर ऑन द अर्थ हमारा यहां पर कैलिफोर्निया में कितने फॉरेस्ट फायर्स हो गए कितना लैंड खराब हो गया बिकॉज ऑफ फ्लडिंग एंड ऑल दैट वहां पर एक है उसको बोलते हैं क्या वहां पर भी ऐसा ही डेजर्ट है कैलिफोर्निया में वी मे हैव टू माइग्रेट पीपल टू हिमालय टू डेजर्ट दिस इज वन ऑफ द reasons i think space exploration is giving us the toughest challenge is challenge ko hum solve karenge chemically physically physiologically psychologically aadmi ko wapas aayenge ladies ko wapas aayenge to hamari knowledge itni achhi hogi aur agar hum clever honge we will use it to reduce pollution to use recycling to use resources more efficiently hai na to get away from carbon dioxide carbon monoxide what <laughs> sorry i gave you a long answer but you got sir no, i agree with your point also i mean recently i have just uh, read in a quote that uh, prince william also said the same thing that you said that to repair this one before heading to the other one no the point is where was elon musk for the last 2 years How much donation do we give to the people जो बेचारे खा नहीं सकते हैं अभी मैं कुछ नहीं अपने आप बारे में बोलूंगा यू कैन रीड हेर एंड देर यू नो यू कैन गूगल एंड सी आई हैव फाउंडेशन हमने अपने जेब से निकाल के जितना हमारे पास शक्ति थी लोगों को खिलाया इन विलेज इन इंडिया ये क्या हो रहा है मतलब ये है कि देर शुड बी अ बैलेंस राइट इट्स नॉट गेट कैरीड अवे वी नीड हा बट आई विल नेवर से दैट ह्यूमन एक्सप्लोरेशन इज नॉट फ्रूटफुल आई टोल्ड यू वाई और ये बाय द वे आई हैव रिटर्न पेपर्स ऑन दिस ये जो जीरो ग्रेविटी है 18 परसेंट ग्रेविटी मून पर है 28 परसेंट के नो सॉरी थर्टी एट परसेंट मार्स पर है यहां पर एक जी है इसका भी बहुत सेल्स के ऊपर बायोलॉजी इसकी एक्सप्लोरेशन कितना हमने सीखा फ्रॉम द स्पेस आदमी परेशान होता है देर इज अ बिग टॉक आई गिव ऑन मेडिकल बेनिफिट्स ऑफ स्पेस एक्सप्लोरेशन साइकोलॉजिकल बेनिफिट क्या नहीं है देर I am not going to say sit down and don't do anything no do it but do it wisely use resources that are necessary and then get this body of knowledge and make the lives of people you know better here on the earth right thank you sir you are welcome so there are many more questions uh, i think uh, uh, we can take two three questions more so that's it i will let you decide mera to time hi time hai ab to raat hai uh, sir like uh, hum logo ka yahan par din hai sir hame koi problem nahi hai aap <laughs> think nahi mere ko bhi koi problem nahi hai aap okay aap sab ka mera pyar mil raha hai to isse badi cheez kya milegi that's so nice of you sir uh, sir another question uh, uh sir our universe is expanding then why distance between india and america doesn't change <laughs> the, the distance <laughs> between india and america why should it change what is the reason for the change <laughs> that means the earth can have its uh, you know will be expanding by the way the distance between here and moon is changing the latest measurements we have uh, moon is going away from us by about couple of centimeters every year oh okay. moon bhi naraz hone lagi hum se ha moon bhi ha distance between earth uh, india and america probably is changing 
मैं बताऊं कैसे मैं बताऊं कैसे सर सर कैसे बताइए सर अभी प्लेटलेट मोशन हो रही है okay. इंडिया जिस प्लेट प्लेट प्लेटलेट आई डोंट नो हाउ टू से दैट वर्ड बट एनीवे जिस पर बैठा है वो हाँ टेक्टॉनिक प्लेट पर बैठा है तो वो प्लेट जो है वो चाइना को धक्का मारती है दिस हैज बीन ऑब्जर्व दिस चाइना को धक्का मारती है तो चाइना बोलती है इधर नहीं आने का भैया तो बीच में खड़ा हो गया अपना हिमालया रेंज हाँ हिमालया पर्वत खड़ा हो गया बोला जाता है कि हिमालय का जो पर्वत का जो चोटी है ना टॉप दैट गोज अप बाय फ्यू नैनोमीटर एवरी ईयर इन अदर वर्ड्स वी आर नॉट सिटिंग ऑन हाउ डू आई से वी आर सिटिंग ऑन दिस टेक्टॉनिक प्लेट्स तो थोड़ा थोड़ा चेंज तो होगी ना बिटवीन हियर एंड अमेरिका बिटवीन हियर एंड चाइना चेंज है पीकिंग और दहली में नैनो मीटर का डिफरेंस है बिकॉज दीज आर स्टिल गोइंग ऑन देर आर थिंग्स है बिलो द ओशन अब द ओशन देर वॉज एन अर्थ क्वैक एज अ रिजल्ट ऑफ दिस क्रैक्स बिटवीन नेपाल एंड इंडिया नॉट टू लॉन्ग अगो तो नेपाल को कितना नुकसान हो गया राइट जो सेवन से लेकर आठ रिक्टर स्टेट पर आया सो द एंसर टू दिस स्टूडेंट इज इफ यू आर लुकिंग एट नैनो मीटर स्केल और फ्रैक्शन ऑफ अ नैनो मीटर पर हैप्स देर और दो थिंग्स हैपनिंग बिकॉज ऑफ द टेक्टॉनिक प्लेट्स विच आर नॉट स्टिल यू नो सॉलिडिफाइड और स्टेशनरी and definitely sir over a uh, large period of time definitely the distance will increase uh, right or decreased i don't know oh, for sure oh okay okay yeah uh, sir another question uh, <clears throat> sir was there any universe even before today's universe wo to maine yahi to samjha hai maine sir ha to my thinking that the universe collapsed per the pralay theory that i explained ha huh? mahaparaha aa gaya to wo collapse ho ke chota ban gaya to fir aur collapse nahi ho saka to mahamaya ne bola tu bang ho ja to naya universe create ho gaya jisme hum abhi hai now again this is not you know it's not a solid theory or anything it's just a imagination uh sir so another question does every black hole contain a singularity kaise bataoge answer now i want to ask this uh, student this hame pata hi nahi kahan kitne black hole hai black hole sir Pata. exactly Pata. दो मिनट के लिए बताओ कि जब हमें पता ही नहीं कि कितने करोड़ों करोड़ों रेस पावर करोड़ों ब्लैक होल है इस यूनिवर्स में तो इस सवाल का कैसे जवाब दोगे तो आंसर ये सवाल का जवाब देना मुश्किल है भाई या तो आ गैस कर लो हाँ उसको बोलते हैं गैस करना आंखें बंद करके बोलो हाँ कोई अपने सपने से बोलो वो नहीं ना चलेगा सो द आंसर इज वी डोंट हैव अ गुड आइडिया ऑफ ब्लैक होल कितने साल हो गए चंद्रशेखर ने थ्योरी लिखी मेरे ख्याल में फोर्टी इयर्स अगो तो हमें उसे पहले पता ही नहीं था कि ब्लैक होल क्या होता है उसको नोबल लॉरियटशिप मिल गई हाँ तो पिछले फोर्टी ईयर्स में बहुत प्रोग्रेस हो गई ना हबल ने देखा कि भाई क्रंचिंग हो रही है रेडिएशन इसमें से निकल रही है ये हो रहा है वो हो रहा है बहुत सारी चीजें हम देख चुके हैं बट अगेन आई टेल दिस स्टूडेंट जो हम देखते हैं ना वो बहुत पीछे हुआ है अभी नहीं हो रहा है मिलियंस एंड मिलियंस ऑफ इयर्स बैक हुआ है तो ये पता नहीं अभी क्या होगा वहां राइट वी डोंट नो वट इज आउट देर 
right now. इसीलिए मैंने ये एम्फोसाइज किया कि भारत वर्ष में बोला गया कि भाई ये सब माया है Any other questions? Yes, sir. Uh, uh, sir, uh, I think you have answered this question. What is the purpose of our life? Like I am artist, and most of the people say it's good. It's God gifted. So how can I realize what purpose that Almighty has given me? Okay, <clears throat> excellent question. Excellent. All these questions are excellent. <clears throat> इस पर मैंने बहुत सोचा है कि पर्पस क्या है और पेपर भी लिखा है बी इंस्पायर्ड हैव अ पर्पस फॉर लाइफ तो वो पेपर भी प्रोफेसर सिंह को भेजूंगा नासा लाइक दैट पेपर एंड दे पुट अ यू नो नासा लोगो ऑन इट आई वाज द इनोवेशन चैंपियन तो मैंने थोड़ा सा इंस्पायरेशन के बारे में मैं थोड़ा बताना चाहता था तो गोइंग बैक टू दिस स्टूडेंट्स क्वेश्चन पर्पज लाइफ का क्या है मैंने थोड़ा सा बता दिया कि मैं आके मैंने सोचा कि मेरा पर्पज जो है कम से कम मेरे पेरेंट्स का कर्जा उठाना उठाया है तो उसको देना तो है प्रोजनी तो वो हो जाएगी इफ नॉट ह्यूमन बींग्स विल एक्सटिंग कोई यहां रहेगा नहीं तो वन ऑफ द मेन पर्पज इज इज That we do sadhana. अपने आप को मेंटली एंड फिजिकली हमें फिट पर रखना है ये ये पर्पज बहुत जरूरी है फिर उसके बाद में यू नो वी ट्राई टू रिप्रोड्यूस आवर सेल्व इफ वी कैन एंड इफ वी वॉन्ट इट्स नॉट नेसेसरी बट द पॉइंट इज गोइंग बैक टू द पर्पज माई थियोरी ऑफ दैट इज That nobody can define your purpose. आपको अपने से ही डिफाइन करना पड़ेगा एग्जैक्टली मैं क्यों हूं यहां मैं क्या करना चाहता हूं राइट ये शक्ति जो है ये केपेबिलिटी है दिस हैज बिन गिवन बाई महामाया यू रीड ऑल द लिटरेचर ऑफ इंडिया इसमें दिया है कि मानुष को ये शक्ति है इंडिपेंडेंट थिंकिंग की ये मनुष्य पाप भी कर सकता है पाप और पुण्य भी कर सकता है और वही तो हो रहा है मैंने बोला ना कल योग में बहुत पाप चल रहा है यूक्रेन में अभी हमला हो रहा है रशिया का ये सब हो रहा है बट पुण्य करने वाले पुण्य ही करेंगे दे विल do punni so we have to define our own actions sorry that is what is given in our literature baaki ye hai ki koi bolega ki aawaz nahi our own man has to guide us our own mind hamara dimag maine apna ghar choda दसवीं जमात के बाद में गया मैं श्रीनगर में मैं रोता था घर में था यहां पर एक आ, एप्पल खाओ हा? सेब खाओ यहां पर चरीज खाओ आराम से क्या नहीं मिल रहा था श्रीनगर में कुछ नहीं मिल रहा था लेकिन मैं ये इच्छा थी कि मैं पढूं श्रीनगर से मैं कलकत्ता पहुंच गया इतना गर्मी इतना ह्यूमिडिटी मेरा पसीना ही पसीना निकल मैं पिघल रहा था क्योंकि मैं कोल्ड प्लेस से कश्मीर से लेकिन मुझे चाहिए था एम टेक पी फिर मैं अमेरिका में आता हूं मैं मैं रो रहा अब मैंने इंडिया भी छोड़ दिया अब कहा जाओ कोई नहीं है यहाँ 1965 में कौन इंडियन मिलेगा आपको क्या मिलेगा क्या नहीं मिलेगा so the answer to this student in short is define your purpose and execute that purpose you will not achieve all the goals bahut mushkil hai but like professor king kuch na kuch to milega na kumar 
एग्जैक्टली पार्टिकल नहीं मिलेगा तो कोई पार्टिकल मिलेगा देखो कितने नोबल ऑरियट का ब्रेन क्या होता है इसी तरह हम हिमालय पर्वत की चोटी पर जाना चाहते तो बेस कम्प तो तक तो जाएंगे ना नाम के बाजार तक तो जाएंगे ना कहीं ना कहीं जाएंगे कुछ ना कुछ मिलेगा तो बहुत ही अच्छा क्वेश्चन है बहुत ही मुश्किल है डिफिकल्ट है तो आंसर आई होप माय आंसर विल बी एटलीस्ट सम वैल्यू टू सर वन मोर लास्ट क्वेश्चन सर डस साइंटिस्ट बिलीव इन गॉड गॉड्स आई नो इट्स ए सिली क्वेश्चन बट मोस्ट पीपल थिंक दैट साइंटिस्ट डू नॉट बिलीव इन गॉड सो वट डू यू थिंक अबाउट इट सर साइंटिस्ट से अगेन क्वेश्चन इज वेरी गुड हमारे ही फेमिली में कितने साइंटिस्ट हैं एक्सटेंडेड फेमिली में हाँ साइंटिस्ट भी देखो आंसर इज आई गॉट टू बी ब्रीफ आई कुड गो ऑन एंड ऑन ब्रीफली ये बताऊंगा कि इस पृथ्वी पर ऐसे लोग हैं कि अगर भगवान भी उनके सामने लाओगे ना अल्लाह हाँ रब गॉड वो तब भी नहीं तुम्हें बिलीव करेंगे ठीक है ना नहीं करेंगे क्योंकि उनको ये पता है कि भाई कोई मैजिक नहीं है हैं जिसने ये टर्न ऑन टर्न ऑफ किया ये किया वो किया इसी पृथ्वी पर दूसरे एंड पर ऐसे लोग हैं जो आपको बोलेंगे जर्रा जर्रा घूमता है एटम की मोशन भी भगवान ही डिक्टेट करता है गॉड ही डिक्टेट करता है इन अदर वर्ड्स वी हैव from zero temperature to infinite temperature type of views right main kahin beech mein hu aur main dekhta hu jo most of the scientist hai wo bhi meri taraf wo bhi mante hain ki bhai ye series agar hum bolenge ki cell se phir uh, dna rna se phir क्रोमोजोम बन गया क्रोमोजोम से सेल बन गई सेल से ये हुआ फिर म्यूटेशन हो गई बाय ये हुआ ये हुआ ये हुआ ये हुआ है ना डार्विन थ्योरी तो आदमी बन गया लेकिन अगर पीछे जाएंगे कोई पूछेगा ये डीएनए कहाँ से आ गया मटेरियल उसका कहाँ से आ गया उसमें लाइफ कहाँ से आ गई डीएनए में फिर क्रोमोजोम कैसे बन गया ये सीरीज जो है ना टूअर्ड द एंड लाइक आई वॉज से इन माई टॉप टूअर्ड द एंड ये इंडिया के पृथ्वी पर ही इंडिया के लैंड में ही भारत वर्ष में ही डिफाइन किया है मेरे ख्याल में बोला गया है कि भाई इसका एंड यही है महामाया है कि जो महामाया ने ये चीज बनाई है सो बैक टू बिलीफ बिलीफ में ये है कि हम सब साइंटिस्ट को कैसे जाने ये भी ऐसा क्वेश्चन है प्रीवियस ब्लैक होल का कि भाई ब्लैक होल में ऐसा कैसे जाने की देर मे बी मिलियन साइंटिस्ट आउट ऑफ सेवन पॉइंट एट बिलियन पीपल है तो एक मिलियन को कैसे इसमें से आपको कहीं ऐसी साइंटिस्ट नहीं है मेरी तरह जो कि जानते हैं कि भाई फुल स्टॉप कहीं होगा है कोई शक्ति तो है कोई चीज तो है जिसको आप बहुत तरीके से बता सकते हो अल्लाह भी बता सकते हो रब भी बता सकते हो गॉड भी बता सकते हो है भगवान ब्रह्म जो भी मर्जी है बताओ मेरी तरह ऐसे भी लोग होंगे वो ऐसे भी होंगे बोलेंगे मेरे को ये मत बताना डोंट टेल मी दैट देर इज सम बॉडी समथिंग दैट क्रिएटेड दिस यूनिवर्स और क्रिएटेड लाइफ इन तो शॉर्ट में ये आंसर है देर इज अ स्पेक्ट्रम ऑफ व्यूज है ना कहीं कहीं ने रियलाइज किया है कि एट द एंड ऑफ द डे भाई कुछ है सर आई थिंक विद दिस वी वाइंड अप दिस सेशन 
One more time, I want to thank the principal staff. Yeah, uh, Dr. Rajiv, you uh, are saying something. Yeah, our coordinator Vishnu Kumar has raised his hand. I think he has a question. Okay, okay. This will be the last question. Let's finish the meeting with the coordinator's question. Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, Dr. Kumar Krishnan Ji, my Namaskar. Namaskar, Namaskar. This is not my question, nahi hai, sir. Or this is not formally a vote of thanks. Hai. But I would like to appreciate uh, today's talk. Or ये मैं मौका छोड़ना नहीं चाह रहा था कि मतलब वोट ऑफ थैंक्स मुझे पता है कोई करेगा यहाँ पे लेकिन मैं स्टॉक uh, के कुछ पॉइंट्स जो मैंने नोट किए स्पेशली और जो मेरे लाइफ uh, के और मेरे जो फंडामेंटल्स हैं लाइफ के उनके बहुत करीब आपने कुछ चीजों को आज बातचीत के बारे में फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू टेल दैट यू हैव स्टार्टेड योर लेक्चर विद एटीट्यूड ऑफ ग्रेटिट्यूड You have given the gratitude to the uh, late uh, Prime Minister uh, Lal Bahadur Shastri ji. It is a great thing that कि हम अपने जीवन में किसी के प्रति कृतज्ञ होते हैं, gratitude का भाव रखते हैं. ये अपने आप में एक बहुत बड़ी बात है सर. So thank you so much. दूसरी बात आपने बताई कि है ना विद्या का दान है. तो विद्या का दान basically बहुत से questions भी आए. मैं इसलिए बात कर रहा हूँ कि अगर एक आदमी को विद्या का दान मिलता है, तो वो अपने पैरों पे खड़ा हो सकता है. फिर वो चाहे उसका purpose life पर ढूँढने का हो, या वो successful हो ना हो, या वो किसी और चीज़ को पाना चाहता हो, वो चीज़ें धीरे-धीरे खुद कर सकता है. वो अपाहिस नहीं. आपकी mic mute हो गई. मैं बताना चाह रहा था कि आपने डिस्कस किया बिग बैंग थ्योरी महाप्रलय प्रलय और ब्लैक होल सब चीजें डिस्कस करी इंपॉर्टेंट ये चीज है कि आपने क्या पढ़ा ये इंपॉर्टेंट नहीं है बट आपने जो पढ़ा क्योंकि सब चीज सब नहीं पढ़ सकते कोई हिंदी पढ़ता है कोई इंग्लिश पढ़ेगा कोई केमिस्ट्री पढ़ेगा कोई फिजिक्स पढ़ेगा कोई आर्किटेक्चर बनेगा लेकिन जो आपने पढ़ा है वो कैसे पढ़ा है कितना पढ़ा है और दूसरी बात ये की आपने उससे जब आपको मौका मिला आपने सोसाइटी को उसे कैसे दिया है डिलीवर कैसे किया दैट इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट और आपने आज एक चीज टच करी आइसबर्ग का जो आपने डायग्राम दिखाया दैट इज मतलब इट सेल्फ एक्सप्लेनेटरी फॉर एवरीवन कि जो ऊपर दिखता है वो बहुत छोटा सा है अगर आप आज नासा में साइंटिस्ट हैं ये एक छोटा सा पार्ट दिख रहा है लोगों को कि आप जल्दी से साइंटिस्ट बन गए पर आपने जो उसके पीछे किया होगा आपने जो अपना जर्नी शेयर किया आपने उसके पीछे आइसबर्ग नीचे से बहुत बड़ा होता है उसका बेस बहुत बड़ा है जो आपने वहां पे एक व्यक्ति बहुत बड़ा बनता है उसके पीछे उसका संघर्ष जितना होता है वो आपने इसमें भी कवर किया और बेसिकली जो पर्पजफुल लाइफ के बारे में आप बात कर रहे थे अभी तो मुझे एक बात याद आई कि अगर हम अपनी बात को पर्पसफुल बनाना चाहते हैं तो दैट शुड बी शुड हैव समथिंग डेफिशिएंसी इन आवर लाइफ अभाव ऐसा कहते हैं अभाव बहुत बुरी चीज है लेकिन अभाव जरूरी है तो वो हमारी मीनिंग लाइफ uh, को मीनिंगफुल बना देता है तो मैं बेसिकली ये कहना चाहूंगा सर आज की जो टॉक थी वो बहुत शानदार रही और मुझे बहुत मजा आया सर आपको सुन के पहले मैं लाइव आपको सुना था और आज वर्चुअल बोर्ड में सुना आपको थैंक यू सो मच सर थैंक यू सो मच यू आर मोस्ट वेलकम over to nidhi ma'am uh, sir there is uh, one more question uh, and it's a good question i think we should take it take it up and uh, this is uh, the question is like this the speed of expanding universe is increasing gradually and it is contrary to big bang theory how to explain this increasing speed instead of uh, it being decreased uh, okay uh, that um... uh somewhat i understood from when i was at virginia tech i talked to some professors uh virginia tech had an observatory uh nasa observatory uh, they were observing stars and all that and uh the uh the expansion uh was not people were not able to explain ki why uh this expansion is so non uniform in other words if you take earth we don't know where earth stands in terms of the overall we don't even know whether it's a spherical thing that's what i was saying or like a oval looking thing or like a disk thing ye bhi pata nahi humko ki universe 
किस शेप का है ये पता होता तो कम से कम हमें कैसे पता चलेगा थ्रू एनक्वायरी इट विल टेक सम टाइम मे बी वी विल गेट एन आंसर बट गोइंग बैक टू दिस क्वेश्चन ऑफ एक्सेलरेशन एक्सेलरेशन इज यूजली एज मैटर गोज आउट ग्रेविटेशनल फोर्सेस धक्का देती हैं आपस में राइट इन अदर वर्ड इट्स अ इट्स अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ अट्रैक्शन एंड धक्का इन अदर वर्ड इफ आई हैव स्पेस स्टेशन गोइंग अराउंड तो अर्थ इसको माइक्रो ग्रेविटी बोलते हैं थोड़ा थोड़ा अपने पास लेती है इफ यू डू नथिंग आफ्टर सम टाइम इट विल फॉल डाउन इसी तरह देर इज अ ग्रेविटेशनल फील्ड आई पुट इट दिस वे दैट इज मेकिंग थिंग्स टू गो क्लोजर और फॉर्दर वॉट आई नो फ्रॉम दिस प्रोफेसर एट वर्ड जीनियर टैक इज दैट नॉट टू लॉन्ग गो ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर्स बैक दे फाउंड आउट दैट जो फॉर्दर एज वी गो फॉर्दर इन टू दूनिवर्स the acceleration is increasing they could not the only way that could happen is that there is some other universe that is forcing these to come now attacking the uh, them to come the only way then came this concept of dark energy that that acceleration is due to this dark energy what is dark energy dark matter dark energy is something we know nothing about the word dark means hame pata nahi ye energy kahan se aayi kya hai kya nahi hai itna jante hain ki the only way we can explain is that density of matter should be less as you go outside and therefore the acceleration of matter would be less but it's more therefore they came out with this theory of डार्क एनर्जी उससे ज्यादा मेरे को पता नहीं है थैंक यू सो वेरी मच सर थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दिस आंसर आई थिंक वी शुड वाइंड अप डॉक्टर राजीव डिड आई मेक यू गाइस टायर्ड यहां यहां पता है कितना बज गया प्रोफेसर साहब मैं yes, बताऊं दिस इज Two in the night. Oh, oh my God! ये ये है purpose of life. मेरा purpose of life, purpose of life ये है कि अगर मुझे एक पैसे का knowledge है, वो भी मैं सब के साथ बांटूं. अगर lack of knowledge ninety nine पैसे हैं, वो भी सब के साथ बांटूं. तो देखो मेरा spirit Maybe the students will understand भाई मजे से काम करो तो कुछ हो जाएगा सम आई एम होपिंग आई लेफ्ट सम थॉट विद यू ऑल देर इज नॉट एंसर एंसर्स कहाँ से आएंगे विल हैव टू वर्क हॉट बट द इम्पॉर्टेंट थिंग इज वील गेट दूडेंट सर सॉरी गो हेड so students are loving this session they are saying that uh, we can listen you whole the day matlab aapki puri raat nahi mera to kuch nahi hai mera to tiny time hai maine aap logo ke liye itna pyar mujhe us din mila maine professor singh ko bola bhi ki bhai when i was there itna pyar mila principal se all faculty se all students se to main aapke logon main ye sab presentations honestly i brought all this material together for last few days maine kab pata nahi kya hoga i started to study latest kuch nahi bolte hain ki bhai what is after this universe padhte jao ye ipak hai ye hai ye black hole hai yahan se radiation milti hai ye ye to main jaan padhta jata hu padhta ja हैंड पर बोलता है वो हमें पता नहीं क्या है तो ये तो है बट दैट इज अ गुड थिंग गुड थिंग इज आई वॉन्ट टू लीव दिस वन थॉट लास्ट थॉट विद यू वो ये है ये मैं एम्फोसाइज करता हूं अपने को सिखाया है मैंने ये जो टिप ऑफ द आइसबर्ग है ना ये जो रेस्ट ऑफ द आइसबर्ग जो हम देखते नहीं है 
ये इसे डिस्कनेक्टेड नहीं है इन अदर वर्ड्स जो हमारे पास नॉलेज है वाटर बनता है हाइड्रोजन ऑक्सीजन से इस टेम्परेचर पर इतना मिलाओ ये हो जाएगा पानी बनेगा ये नॉलेज जो है ये है बहुत सारी चीजें हमें पता ही नहीं सुपर कंडक्टिविटी के मटेरियल जो रूम टेम्परेचर पर काम करेंगे पता नहीं कैसे बनेगा क्या नहीं बनेगा वॉट आई फाउंड आउट इन माई एक्सपीरियंस ओवर द लास्ट फिफ्टी ईयर्स कि ये दो चीजें डिसकनेक्टेड नहीं है भैया द नॉलेज वी हैव एंड द नॉलेज वी डोंट हैव और कनेक्टेड ये एक चीज है जैसे यूनिवर्स है ना एक इसलिए क्या है कि थोड़ा थोड़ा हम जितना जानते हैं ना इसको नीचे कर सकते हैं वी कैन मेक द टिप ऑफ द आइस वर्क टू बिकम लिटल हायर लाइक माउंट एवरेस्ट मैं उसको हिमालय पर्वत की चोटी बोलता हूँ ना क्या हर ईयर कहीं नैनो मीटर ऊपर जा रही है द शॉकिंग थिंग टू मी वॉज प्रोफेसर सिंह दैट चाइना सेड जब वो भूचाल आया ना तो चाइना सेड की जो हिमालय पर्वत की चोटी है वो ऊपर चली गई बाय लिटल सोमनी फ्रैक्शन ऑफ अ सेंटीमीटर तो मैंने एमिटी यूनिवर्सिटी को चैलेंज दिया जरा बताओ ये कैसे उन्होंने किया ये मजाक नहीं है दिस टेल्स यू हाउ देयर टेक्नोलॉजी उनके पास एक एंटेना है जो तकरीबन 0.7 किलोमीटर का एंटेना है जो ऊपर देख रहा है वो एक ये है ना आपका नाखून नाखून को वो देख सकते हैं 300 किलोमीटर इतना एंटेना वो नाखून नहीं देखेगा बिकॉज इट इज नॉट ए विजिबल ये रेडियो एंटेना है इन अदर वर्ड्स रेडियो फ्रीक्वेंसी पर करता है बट यू कैन इमेजिन उनकी टेक्नोलॉजी कहां जा रही है तो उन्होंने बोला ये ऊपर चल रहा है हा? थोड़ा सा ऊपर जा रहा है तो इसी तरह व्हाट आई एम सेइंग इज कि ये नॉलेज जो हमारे पास है ऊपर का पोर्शन दैट वी सी इन दिस आइसबर्ग इट इज कनेक्टेड विद नीचे सो वी कैन कीप वर्किंग कीप मेकिंग द नोन थिंग हायर एंड हायर मे बी बाय नैनोमीटर फ्रैक्शन ऑफ एन लेकिन कर सकते हैं एंड दैट इज द फिलोसफी I used in my life earlier, you know there was a good comment given. So, I was thinking that, 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 full of joy let me let me share something with you you might find it a little interesting yeah? uh, this is from uh, what you call the vintage collection of us okay uh, <clears throat> uh, how do we do this yeah this is this one and you start you sharing the screen and uh, there is a desktop this is the screen yeah Dr. Kumar Kishan, are you able to identify the person over here? Ye to lagta hai. Hmm. <laughs> I am, she yes, I am able to identify, yes. And she is asking you a question in 2017 when you were giving your talk over here in this college. This is the pitch from 2017 and she is asking at this moment a question from you. See. This is the 2019. Wow! <laughs> What a memory! What a memory! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's you know there is some uh, whatever the universe and the big things you are explaining. So there is something inside. You know, uh, Professor Singh, I one thing to tell you. I am not joking. I am joking. You all are all younger. <laughs> That's a okay. good thing. You know, all of you look younger than. 
<laughs> I saw you before, which is a good thing. Great thing. But that's good. Maybe because of the lockdown, we were closed uh, inside our homes, and uh, we might have grown a little beautiful. <laughs> Although we we may have put on weights, we have indeed put on weights. But still, हो सकता है चेहरे पर खूबसूरत भी आ रही हो. No, you look younger, yeah. all of you. So thank you, thank you. Uh, uh, you have given me a lot of time. Hey, इतना बड़ा gift नहीं लगा. Sir, thank you very much. Uh, now uh, it's my privilege to extend word of thanks, sir, sir, on the behalf of uh, all the participants and ARST College fraternity. Uh, I'm thankful to you, Dr. Uh, Kumar, uh, for your energetic, encouraging, and enlightening words. Right. So how beautifully uh, you uh, uh, you uh, included uh, uh, starting from uh, Truti. to uh, all yugas and to uh, all the uh, what to say uh, annihilation of the cre uh, creation so it was very it was a wonderful talk uh, now uh, uh, with this uh, i extend my vote of thanks to uh, almighty for making today's event a resounding success i'm thankful to almighty uh, along with this uh, i'm thankful to professor gk jha who is the driving force for all the events like who motivates us for uh, carrying out uh, such type of events uh uh along with this uh, i am thankful to uh, professor rajiv um uh, who uh, took initiative and uh, organized uh, such a uh, wonderful talk uh, i am thankful to you professor rajiv and dr nita ajat i am also thankful to you uh, for uh, um, carrying out uh, such type of events along with this uh, i am thankful to all the uh, chemistry uh, colleagues chemistry department colleagues uh, who are there whose presence is making this event a great success and along with this um, and the colleagues who are outside this uh, institute and uh, from other departments also uh, your presence uh, made this uh, your presence made this event a great success Uh, uh along with this uh, i am thankful to uh, all the students uh, uh, who are not good at academics uh, academics uh, but uh, uh, also good at extra curricular activities also we value you students uh, you are such a creative mind uh, i cannot tell my words are limited for this uh last but not the least i thank you each one of you who made this national science day a memorable one i thank you uh, i thank this uh, temple of learning that is uh, arst college who is providing me this platform for extending this vote of thanks uh with this with my folded hand uh, i again uh, thank you dr kumar uh, for uh, sparing your time for uh, uh, being having with us uh, for this valuable session we wish you a great success in your life and we wish you a um, great uh, days ahead uh, in your life i i look forward to visiting all of you i look forward this definitely, year hopefully definitely after after we the ban yeah after the travel ban will go out i plan to visit delhi and i plan to visit all of you because you have given me so much love so i want to go there i want to show that that i love you too thank we you we will wait for you we will wait for you thank you so much thank you prof rajiv uh please give my best to uh, the principal principal jaha uh, and he has been a great force at the college and he has made the college really a great college thank you thank you so much so bye 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 uh, so uh, further survi and sunidhi please take the chance we are continuing with the powerpoint competition Surbhi Sunidhi. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, ma'am. Good afternoon, one and all present over here. I am Sunidhi Arora, Vice President of Chem Crown, along with Vaishnavi. Welcome you all to the virtual celebration of National Science Day. 
The theme for National Science Day 2022 is Integrated Approach in Science and Technology for Sustainable Future. It's now time for PowerPoint presentation. The judges for the competition are Professor Rajiv Singh, Dr. Neeta Azad, Dr. Anil Kumar, and Mr. Rahul Verma. Rules for the competition are, the shortlisted participants will be given a time of five minutes for the PowerPoint presentation. And there will be a question around by the end by the judges after each presentation. The decision of judges will be final and binding. I hope all the rules are clear. So let's begin with our first participant. Uh, our first participant is Shivangi Singh from ARSD College, and now she is going to present her PowerPoint. Uh, Samita, whom should I make the, what you call the host, so that the person can mute and unmute and give the sharing, uh, what you call, rights to that person? Whom should I make? You, Vaishnavi, or uh, Sushmita? Sir, I'll do the task. I'll do that. Okay, I'm making you the host then, you'll be the host now. Yes, sir. okay. Good. Also, before you start, uh, please contact uh, Dr. Neeta Azad. I don't find her online at the moment. I think she might have got disconnected traveling with her. And Rahul Verma is already here and Anil sir is already here. I'm sorry. Okay. Contact me, uh, Nita ma'am, once before you start. And now you are the host, so make me co-host also. Otherwise, once I get muted, Is my screen visible? Hello? Yes, it is visible. Okay. Should I start? Yeah, you can start now. Wait, 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 wait before you start. Wait. Uh, make Dr. Anil Kumar the co host, uh, Sunidhi. Now you have the rights. Yes, I'll do it. Wait a little second, let the other people also join. Don't be in such a hurry. Any status update, Sunidhi, about uh, Dr. Neeta Azad? Uh, yes, uh, Surbhi is calling, ma'am, right now. Okay. She is about to join.
I think Dr. Nita has joined us. Is, it? Is she able to mute and unmute herself? Huh. Yes, sir, I'm here. Uh, you can begin yeah. with the presentation competition. Yeah, yeah, yeah. please go ahead. Let's start. Yes, sir. Okay. Should I start? Yes, you can start now. Okay, so firstly, good afternoon to everyone present over here. So uh, happy National Science Day to all of you. I am Shwangi Singh from BSc Chemistry on a second year student here to give presentation on the, on the given theme of this year, which is which is integrated approach in science and technology for sustainable future. So firstly, when I, whenever we heard anything, any word, we have to know the meaning of that word. So I will discuss what does sustainability basically mean. So basically sustainability means meeting our own needs without compromising the ability of future generation to meet, the, meet their own needs. I will tell the by the examples, like our parents are saving money to take our future more bright. So it is like that we are saving some resources, some energies for our future generation. So integration of science is based on four pillars, coming together to all science ministries department to work on the theme-based approach of problem solving, extended science integration aligned with technical engineering and medical institutes. Moving ahead, why sustainability is important? What is the role of that? Basically, our global future depends on it. The importance of finding a sustainable future is rooted in three issues that are very much linked to one another. Fossil fuel depletion, climate change due to CO2 emission, and the increasing cost of energy and water. These are some issues which are very related to each other. And that's why sustainability is important for us. Now, uh, I will give you an example, like uh, in earlier days, we are using uh, uh, filament bulb, uh, like the yellow one, filament bulbs, which are made up of uh, tungsten, and that have a uh, 50% efficiency. And nowadays, LED bulbs are using in everywhere, and that are 95% efficient, which means 45% energy savings. That's how the daily, in daily life, there are so many examples and scientists are researching so many things uh, every day that uh, how to make the things more better than earlier one. So I have, uh, I have, today I will tell you some of them inventions which are made by the scientists. First one is Australian film built underwater buoys to tap ocean swell energy. This is the diagram of that, how these underwater buoys uh, in Australia was developed and uh, how they work. Like uh, the coast of Garden Island in Western Australia, all you will see in the ocean, but under the base, the, uh, the world's great, first grid connected power plants is pumping out enough energy for us. And the thousand, two thousand houses can be provide electricity by this. Switched on last month after a decade of development, the power plants use buoys and bob up and down with each wave, driving an underwater pump that pushes pressurized fluid on shore to spin turbines and create electricity. We will discuss it uh, in a brief. This device has multiple arms and that floats on the surface. The undulation of the waves creates a flexing motion and that joints connected by hydraulic pumps that drive a generator providing electricity. The electricity is carried to shore or via cable under the sea. A concurrent structure is constructed within an enclosed chamber and an opening below sea level. As waves enter through the opening, the water level in the chamber rises and then forcing of the air above it through the turbine connected to upper opening in the chamber. The air flow drives the turbine that generates electricity. When the wave hits, the air is sucked back into the lower chamber and tur turning the turbines in the opposite direction and generating electricity. How it will this work, I will show one video also. 
the flexible membrane extended along the ocean floor and moves up and down as waves run over it like waves are moving up and down and this uh, membrane also pushes by this wave motion and uh, pushing sea water to discharge pipe through vertical pipe connected to the underside of the membrane the pressurized water from the pipe drives a turbine on so that can generate electricity electricity the carpet captures 90% of the waste energy and the device has one end fixed uh, to a structure of the sea floor and another that moves as it pushed by the waves like i will show in the uh, in the image also that uh, one part is floating on the air and uh, other part is in inside the sea the movement forces a piston to move it and out driving a pressurized water through piping piping to turbine on shore that produces electricity this is the rough diagram it is not uh, very clear but uh, so the the uh, both the uh, warm and cold water sea waters are pumped into the heat exchanger that separate the two different fluids like ammonia which which we know that is at low boiling point of room temperature at room temperature so that ammonia uh, that warm water sea water is adjust heat exchanger boils the ammonia to create a vapor and that vapor by this vapor the pressure is created uh, inside the pipe and that through this uh, turbine is connected to a generator and produce electricity and then after ammonia vapor leaves the turbine it comes down into a chamber surrounded by tubes of cold sea water the ammonia vapor is cooled and becomes a liquid again so it can continue the cycle so uh, i have to stop this and i will show you one video for better understanding Australian firm builds underwater buoys to tap ocean swell energy. An Australian company has been working on a system that uses underwater buoys to convert sea waves into zero emission energy and desalinated water. Australian firm Carnegie Wave Energy has been developing a system called CETO, which aims to utilize sea waves to generate power. Steel-made buoys that can currently generate 240 kilowatts are the main part of the system. At the test site at the Australian naval base, HMAS Stirling, three buoys were placed 11 kilometers apart. The buoys are less susceptible to extreme weather. Waves are sufficient to generate power. The buoys' pumps drive the high-pressure water to an onshore power plant via a subsea pipe. The high-pressure water spins the turbines, which then generates zero-carbon electricity. The CETO system can be used to power a desalinization plant as well. High pressure water can be used to remove salt from seawater through reverse osmosis. The Australian company believes that the cost of the electricity generated by the CETO system will be competitive with diesel if it is deployed at a large scale. I hope the video will uh, will you, uh, will uh, provide you better understanding of how this buoy is working in underwater. Now moving forward, that uh, osmotic power osmotic power technology is based on the natural phenomena that water with a low concentration of salt seeks a higher concentration of salt. When water of the different salinity met at the mouth of a river and combined to reach a uniform salinity. What is meant by salinity? It is the concentration of salt in water or soil. Uh, or, uh, soil. The release energy. Osmotic power stations replicate the occurrence of using osmosis, separating a tank of a fresh water from a tank of salt water with a semi permeable membrane that allows fresh water to pass through, but not the salt water. Fresh water is drawn into the salt water side, equalizing the salinity and raising the water pressure in the salt water tank. That pressure is used to divide, derive a turbine that produces electricity. So this is also how they work. Now the 
second uh, invention is now the second thing which is uh, working on by the scientists uh, the new solar panels which also work in the rain like ordinary solar panels which we are using like uh, which is uh, made up of silicon right they are made up of silicon and they do not work when the rain is happening so scientists in china they are uh, searching researching on the to generate a new solar panels which are which can also work when the rain is happening so that are graphene based uh, graphene based solar cells says the researchers from the ocean university of china would be able to derive energy from rain drops that happens to fall on the panel by taking advantage of various salts present within the liquid like uh, in normal solar cells what is that is made up of mono crystalline silicon panels are made from single crystals and poly crystalline silicon solar cells are made from multi multiple silicon crystallized uh, together and then thin film solar cells are made from the amorphous silicon which makes them the most flexible solar panels but also the least efficient like ordinary solar panels contains metal strips you will see that metal two metal strips on the solar panels these metal strips do not cover all the areas of collecting the electrons like sun rays are blocked at that area so 5% sun rays block and it reduces the efficiency of that solar panel so the scientists are using the graphene uh, let us discuss i hope this picture is visible here it is an hexagonal structure hexagonal sheets are there graphene is a single layer mono layer of carbon atoms tightly bound in the hexagonal honeycomb lattice it is a like honeycomb lattice it is an atom of carbon in the form of plane of sp2 bonded atoms with the molecular bond length of 0.142 nanometers layers of graphene stack on the top of each other from graphite within the interplanar spacing of 0.35 nanometers the separate layer of the graphene in graphite are held together by wonderwall forces which can be overcome during exploding of graphene from graphite now they uh, what are the properties of graphene it is the thinnest compound known to man at one atom thick the lightest material we know the graphene also have some uh, problems that uh, would be solving by researchers to make solar panels using these without sac sacrificing its transparency main thing is that uh, graphene is uh, transparent and it is very flexible to use it and uh, it will help to make the solar panel three ways that it will act as electrode as a charge carrier and it will act as a photovoltaic material and also a charge holder like it is also act as a capacitor the uh, photo uh, voltaic uh, photovoltaic solar cells made up of organic compounds would offer a variety of advantages over today's in inorganic silicon solar cells they would be cheaper and easy to manufacture they would be light weight and flexible rather than heavy rigid and fragile and they would be easier it would be easier to transport including a remote region with no central power grid the graphene sheets make up the solar cells would be able to separate the positively charged ion in rain water including sodium and calcium and ammonium like rain water is not pure it also contains the uh, salt so these positive the ions bind to the ultra thin layer of graphene to form a double layer and that also called a pseudo capacitor like it is a false capacitor uh, shivangi uh, time is over try to wrap up okay okay this is the last slide so uh, uh, before you start shivangi please swidi and nashani uh, Please try to keep these talks within the time frame. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, okay. I will find it. So, uh, the uh, uh, 
the graphene is also acting as pseudo capacitor like uh, it is a false capacitor and by this potential energy difference between the two layers that generates the electric current and then uh, we are using the uh, graphene to make the solar panels uh, to be more effective in rain water so thank you guys thank you everyone thank you shivangi uh, our next participant is subyan josh and now vaishnavi beta ek kaam yes. aur karo ye jo yes. bhi koi presentation dega apni aur kya kehte hain video bhi on rakhega theek hai yes yes sir okay subyan uh, are you in the Just... meet are you present in the meet uh i don't think so he is in the meet sir so i think i i'll call the next participant what about the question answering session agar aap kuch questions puchne ho to kya kab after all the presentation is covered then no sir i guess after every presentation every presentation uh, na so you yeah. just uh, uh, also just read. Uh, please uh, read out the rules once i hope before i joined you have read out the rules everyone knows about the rules and tell yes. them what is the time limit for every presentation okay ma'am okay uh, and yes. also also let us know how many presentations we have today and ma'am we have eight one okay. is already covered and okay. i think subyan is not present so six are left that's okay um and what is the time limit for each presentation ma'am it's 5 minute uh, shivangi took that's um, okay that's time. okay i guess she didn't know so you must read out the rules before the presentation starts uh, uh, once okay. not yes. before every presentation but let them know how much time they have okay yes ma'am yes ma'am uh and judges can ask question uh Okay, Shivani. Uh, Shivani, are you hear me? Yes, sir. Shivani, you have second application. Me, the solar panel. Me, what you have discussed. Kiya hai. You have written in the slides. Me, written that organic compounds are better than the inorganic silicons. Which type of organic compound is used? Any idea? Because of the organic compound as compared to the inorganic. वो तो तुम्हारा ज्यादा ज्यादातर जो ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड होते हैं वो तो तुम्हारे जा, होते सो विस टाइप ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड इज यूज सर सर इट वाज दैट इनऑर्गेनिक सिलिकॉन सोलर पैनल्स आर मोर अन इफेक्टिव देन द ऑर्गेनिक वन व्हिच आर ग्रेफीन व्हिच वी आर यूजिंग it is like hexagonal cell okay. which is more effective than the silicon solar cell acha or any substance is uh, used other than graphene in sol solar panel yes this type of substance is used other other than graphene शिवानगी मेरी आवाज सुनाई दे रही है बेटा शिवानगी हेलो माई क्वेश्चन इज माई क्वेश्चन इज डेट की अदर देन ग्रेफिन और एनी सबसांस इज यूज इन सोलर पैनल Other than graphene. No sir, no sir. Uh, only graphene. Which are? Because. Okay. Am I audible? Yes, yes, yes. ठीक है. Okay. Nita ma'am and Rajiv sir. Uh, we are okay with it we can move to the second presentation uh thank you shivangi 
Uh, now I welcome Nanika from ARSD College to present her PowerPoint presentation. Uh, Nanika. You. Yeah, thank you, Vaishnavi. Uh, I hope I'm audible. Yes, you are. Yeah, you thank are you. Um, uh, can you please enable my screen sharing? Yes, yes, doing. Uh, Nanika, you can continue now. Yeah, thank you. Just a second. Mm. Just a second. I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, all right. Thank you so much. Uh, so I'll be starting my presentation in three, two, one. Uh, so the topic for my presentation was growing importance of electric vehicles for a sustainable future. And I'll be speaking on that. To begin with, uh, let me clarify a point, And that is that our climate is on the brink of a climate disaster. And it is our responsibility to work towards a sustainable future. So now whenever we talk about emissions, we are always looking for someone to blame it on. And usually the answer directly is industries. But the answer to this is not exactly industries because the sector which actually produces the most emissions is the transportation sector. So when we think about sustainable development, science and tech and transportation, somehow it doesn't match up. So what can be a sustainable development of a transportation sector? So the answer to it is something we need something that is drastically implementable, that drastically lowers the emission levels. The 29% emission that is caused by these vehicles can be reduced because the climate is in a position where the global temperature is increasing rapidly. So to this, we have an answer and that is electric vehicles. Electric vehicles are not an answer which has come to us recently. It has been there along with other conventional methods, for example, public transport. Apart from public transport, we have carpooling, carpooling, and along with that, we also have schemes like odd and even, which have been there. However, they have not been that effective as much as we wanted them to be. So that is why, that is where electric vehicles come into play. Electric vehicles are nothing more than convent, uh, nothing more than vehicles in which the internal combustion engine, which is a conventional engine, is replaced by batteries and an electric motor. And that is what electric vehicles are. It can be cars, it can be buses, it can be metros, it can be anything. So when we talk about electric vehicles, the very important question comes is that why only electric vehicles am I specifically talking on in environment in sustainable future so the point becomes very clear when i come to the as as my presentation goes on so the first thing that i would like to uh, speak on is yeah sorry for a little uh, interruption in the ppt so the first thing we would like to speak on is the types of electric vehicles there are three types of electric vehicles first of all there is a all electric vehicle that is it entirely runs on electricity. Then there is a hybrid mode of vehicle that is the HEV and that runs partially on electricity and partially on its own engine, which runs on petrol. And then we have a plug-in electric vehicle. Now this is a way, uh, this is a little interesting type in which this has both the engines. It also has an electric battery motor. It also has a uh, combustion engine and it is up to the person in it who can switch it. Like, in the hybrid mode, you cannot completely switch. However, in the plug-in mode, you can completely switch from an internal combustion engine to a battery run engine. Now in th these hybrid uh, models, what happens is that if your battery is low, you can change to a petrol driven or a diesel driven place. And uh, what happens in the entirely uh, battery run uh, vehicles, what happens is that still many countries are not that efficient in having a lot of plug points. So it becomes very important to have these hybrid vehicles, especially in a country like India, where, you know, the mindset is not yet for a electric vehicle. As we move on, uh, we again come to the place where we learn a little more about, um, sorry. 
um i'm so sorry my internet is not working properly Yes, uh, thank you for being patient. Uh, so let's discuss further about the components of an electric vehicle as to how is this magical gadget automatically solving all the problems and all the pollutions and emissions. So an electric vehicle has an electric engine or a motor, it has an in inverter, it has a drive train, batteries, charging and a cooling system. The motor as usual produces some kind of an electric current, it can be AC or DC, an inverter which converts the DC into AC, a drive train which puts this electricity into the power of the wheels, the batteries which are there to store the energy and the charging system which can be plug in or single point anyway, it depends on different companies and cars and the cooling system which keeps the batteries cool. Uh, as we move ahead, we are going to learn again, we are going to come back to the basic questions as to why electric vehicles. So the one of the major uh, important topics and one of the major important aspects is the environmental aspect. So as I've written a fact here that one electric vehicle in a car can save up to 1.5 million grams of carbon dioxide. So that clearly shows that how important electric vehicles are for a generation where there is so much pollution. Look at uh, Delhi, where there is such a huge air pollution problem happening. Moreover, apart from that, electric vehicles in their entire lifetime, starting from production to the final end, where they are actually being degraded or compressed in some junkyard, uh, till that point of time, they produce less carbon footprint than the entire course of the uh, uh, All right, I'll just wrap up really quick. Uh, yeah, so they produce less carbon footprint than the entire conventional uh, conventional engine. And apart from that, the point here is that the batteries in electric vehicles can be actually reused for other electric vehicles. And this technology is actually being used these days and it is coming in the market. Um, the next aspect which we I would like to talk about is the energy efficiency and power. And that is electric vehicles are very efficient. They convert 77% of the electric energy into the power of their wheels, while conventional energies are hardly 25%. Apart from that, there is a point called decarbonization happening because during production, there's a lot of emissions that happen. Uh, like during the production of electric vehicles, there's a lot of emission that is happening. But we can reduce that by a process called decarbonization that is coming into the market. We need technologies, but it is happening. Uh, as my last slide comes, that is cost effectiveness, which is a very important factor. Cost effectiveness is something which comes in the first, uh, which comes in the mind of people, the first thing. Now, what happens is that the more you drive an electric vehicle, surprisingly, it becomes smoother and much better because in an electric vehicle, there's very little movable parts compared to conventional engines. So what happens is that more you drive it, the more efficient it becomes. And apart from that, there is a lot of subsidies which governments give because it is renewable and sustainable. And hence, it is an extremely cost-effective method method as well. Uh, with that, I would like to end, and I would also like to say before I end, that electric vehicles are not a silver bullet that is going to solve every problem, but it is a step towards it. And with that, I would like to end. Thank you so much. And I'm open to all questions. Thank you, Nanika. Judges can ask question now. Mm -hmm. So hi, Nanika. Uh, uh, my question is, uh, that you cover different types of electric vehicles. So which type of these vehicle involves the battery swapping technique? Uh, Do you have sir, any idea about, about this? Battery, what sir? Uh, battery swapping technique. So it's an initiative that is being taken by government of India as well. And this was presented in this union budget as well. So there is a technique uh, which is battery swapping, which is not related to the charging of electric vehicles where you get a battery like uh, we have in our phones. So it runs for, our, I mean, you can say for three, four years, and then you can swap that battery with another battery. So is there any kind of EV vehicle that uh, covers this technique? 
uh, sir, there are like several different types of companies which are producing them. As mm-hmm. far I, as I know, sir, uh, battery swapping is not there in Tesla or Hyundai, about which I studied. Okay, uh, right. They are all based on charging the batteries. Uh, and sir, battery swapping, I think, must be done by some Indian company. There is Ashoka, uh, a company which is doing, I am telling them. No, it's now, Ashoka uh, I tell you, this is being... Uh, this initiative is run by Tata Motors and even as Tesla as well. So what the technique is, instead of charging, you take a battery that runs for three, four years and then you exchange the battery with a new one. Hmm. So this is uh, another type of electric vehicles that are running also. But all in all, it was a good presentation and EV is something which is a future as well. Yes, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Nanika. Uh, yes, uh, I would like to ask one question from Nanika. It's not a question, actually. So, Nanika, in today's time, Nanika is there? Yes, ma'am. Uh, presently, if I see the cost of uh, an electric car in India, like I can take an example of Wagonart. It costs mm-hmm. around five to six lakhs for a petrol uh, one. And if you go for electric vehicle in the same model, it will cost you around 10 to 11 lakhs. Yes, ma'am. You know, so the cost is almost double. Also, mm-hmm. with time, after four to five years, every four to five years, you need to change battery also. So mm-hmm. how quickly we can move to that future of electric vehicles? Like, this is the future. We can see it. But how conveniently we are switching to that situation yes what is your opinion about it um ma'am about this i just saw a video in which they said that tesla is coming up with a new technology in which they will not have a single battery or large batteries they'll have many small batteries which charge quickly and it's very efficient in a power wise because most of our power is fossil dependent ma'am uh, so what happens is that when these new technologies come about like distribution between different batteries the battery life also increases like many small batteries will get discharged equally and get charged equally so the battery life increases and if like there are different sections full of 64 batteries and that is called uh, ma'am that was called some term so if one of them fails it's like there are several other like different other parts which will keep the car running it won't like stop and the charging and discharging is equal and ma'am about the cost uh that is ma'am they said that the showroom and the insurance cost is very high but when the long run is seen there is very little wear and tear as compared to the combustion ones so that is a very important factor. There is no very, very little maintenance charge in these cars because there is no movable part in them. So um, that was all. Yes. Okay. Thank you, Nanika. Uh, thank you, Nanika. Thank you, ma'am. Now, may I please call Zakir Alam from Bhagini Nivedita College to present his PowerPoint presentation. Zikar Aram. Uh, I'm present here. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Zikra Aram. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, sorry. You can present your presentation. Zikra, please go ahead with your presentation. Yes, I'm going. Uh, Is my screen sharing? No. Hello? No, your screen is not visible. Try connecting again. I even don't know how to share.
if uh, if any one of the office bearer is having this presentation you can present on your screen and she can speak is it is it now yeah screen is visible you can present now oh thank you you are presenting through phone i guess it's Gee. from the ipad or something i have not laptop okay okay i have not okay okay no problem thank you sir is it clearly visible yes beta yeah thank you sir uh, hello and good afternoon everyone this is ikra iram i am a student of bsc honors physics in bhagini nivedita college university of delhi i am in first year uh, this is first Science, national science day of my life which i am celebrating and it's a uh, i am enjoying i am enjoying a lot and just because of you thank you very much honorable teachers organizers organizers uh, i am going to start now i have given a topic that is integrated approach in science and technology for sustainable future and i am going to represent a powerpoint presentation on it the earth functions as an animate being the earth is alive and its heart is pumping and beating we have a role to play in protecting and supporting the function of the earth we have got huge oceans green landscapes deserts mountains clouds of every single type you can imagine beautiful sunsets there are beautiful varieties of what our earth has to offer to protect this beauty of our planet we must act responsible so that resources on the planet will be able to support many generations there are there are limited amount of resources on earth which are exploited every day sustainability means to maintain these resources forever we need sustainability because our global future depends on it the importance of finding a sustainable future rooted in three issues that are very much linked to one another and those are fossil fuel depletion climate change due to co2 emissions and increasing costs of energy and water here uh, now i will talk about how science and technology maintain sustainable future uh, here uh, we will talk about clean energy solutions only we need innovation that gives us energy cheaper than today's hydrocarbon energy that zero co2 emissions and as reliable as today's and overall energy system an australian company has been working on system that uses underwater buoys to convert sea waves into zero emissions energy in china scientists are producing solar panels that can produce energy from the last source all the solar power technology has been getting increasing efficient there are still tiny problem that solar cells can't produce power when it's raining uh researchers are producing a new type of solar panel by adding a layer of graphene and carbon atom arranged in a honeycomb structure to dye sensitized solar cells a new type of wind mechanism being developed in japan is designed not only to harness power from wind but also to be particularly effective during typhoons 
At Binghamton University, researchers have come up with an interesting way to harness energy, and that is, they use bacteria to harness power. In US, scientists have developed a bionic leaf that can convert solar energy into liquid fuels. Researchers of LOS Elmas National Laboratory in New Mexico have developed a film of quantum dots that can turn windows into photovoltaics. This was the this was my presentation on uh, some topics which can which can help uh, in maintaining the sustainable development and sustainable develop development is largely about people can you be a little louder your voice is not audible oh. hello is it now yes, yes. Uh, sustainable development is largely about people their well-being and equity in their relationship with each other in context with where nature society imbalances can threaten economic and social stability. So we have to work together to make the world a better place to live and use the technology which are present in our, in our hand widely for sustainable people. Because from my side, there could be a lot more things, but uh, I have given you this five minutes. So thank you very much. Uh, thank you very beautiful. You are not audible actually. Yes, Zikra, your voice is uh, coming by little. You can stop presenting. Your presentation is over. And uh, you can switch on your camera for the question answer session. Are you ready to start with the questions? Yes, yeah. okay. that's fine. So, uh, first thing you said, uh, um, it this point uh, point was also mentioned in Shivangi's presentation as well, right? So, underwater voice, right? In uh, some Australian company is making and uh, they're trying to use sea waves energy to convert it into another forms of energies. So how feasible it is? There is uh, there are very particular areas which are connected to sea, right? What about those which are not connected to such sources? How will we uh, bring that energy to? There are a lot of uh, idea other than that which can used by a country or community which are not. Uh, related to uh, sea water or anything. Hello? Yes, you are audible. He is disconnected. No, ma'am, you are audible now. I am too audible, but. Uh... No, no, she's she's there. She's there. We can hear. I am here. I am here. Yeah. Okay. So I couldn't hear your answer actually. Oh, okay. Uh, I was saying that uh, if a place is not connected with sea, then they can use another type of resources to 
make energy which is free of co2 emissions and many more so sustainability is only for those areas which are connected to sea until unless no, there no, is no, 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 no. energy is available for those for everyone we cannot say call it sustainable development right yeah only i i think uh, only sea water is not an uh, answer uh, because there are many more way to do sustainable development and that this is, is a, not only this is one of the one of the way you know where the yes this is one of the way. second question is uh, uh you talked about some leaves they use solar energy to produce liquid fuels yes, can you explain it a little more yes ma'am what kind of leaves are those and uh, which i think leaves are obtained yes ma'am i think that leaves are man made i think man made i hope you were talking about some natural uh, leaves or something anyways this was a very new idea i didn't heard about it hear about it uh, you know earlier so i asked yes, Okay. Now they use bionic leaf. Okay, bionic leaves. So what are bionic leaves? Yes. Uh, ma'am, I don't know more about that, but uh, uh, I have read that process. Uh, I was also not knowing about anything like this. So uh, while making presentation, I knew anything or something about it. So. Uh, I'm done with my questions. Anyone else if want to ask? Ma'am, I was wanting to explain that. Oh, okay. But, uh, please, please. Uh, yes, ma'am. They use bionic leaf that uh, that mimics the chemical process in photosynthesis to split water into hydrogen and oxygen. Yeah, ma'am. Uh, and a bacteria called Ralston eutrophus. I can pronounce it. Uh, mm -hmm. that converts hydrogen gas into protons electrons they are then integrated into co2 molecules as a part of the reproduction cycle of the bacteria to form the liquid fuel isopropyl i think here yeah, isopropyl was that okay i think you are reading out it from somewhere so uh, this is for everyone when you prepare any presentation i don't know anything more about Okay, that's all right. You should be clear about what you are talking. Okay, okay. Thank you, Zikra. Thank you so much. Please move on to the next presentation, or any other teacher Thank can you, ask any question. All good from my side. Yes. Over to the host. yes ma'am thank you uh, zikra uh, now our next participant is prashant uh, prashant is not sorry, there sorry. reading prashant is not there sorry uh, our next participant is sushmita from arst college uh, she can present now uh, yes i am just sharing my screen Uh, let me know if my screen is visible yeah it is yeah. visible okay so very warm good afternoon to one and all present here today i sushmita bhatia student of atmaram sanatan dharma college is here to be a part of this competition and i am very much delighted to present my views on the role of science and technology for a sustainable future and how science and technology actually integrates for a sustainable future so before moving forward let us quickly understand all the three terms that we are going to use in our presentation that is science technology and sustainability so what does sustainable future and sustainability means it means that we are living and it is basically a practice of living in which we use the natural resources in such a way that we to meet our needs properly and also we require some uh, resources for the future generation also 
we use all the resources without damaging the environment and in all this we become an active part of earth cycle so that is sustainability or you can say that is about a sustainable future let me just take my minute to give my sense of what science is and what is not science is not just the data and the facts themselves rather science is the discovery of increased understanding through experimentation technology is an art skill or ability which is used to create and develop products we use our scientific knowledge and apply it in technology to give a product now coming towards how science and technology contributes for a sustainable future integration of science and technology is surely the winning recipe to attain the goal of long term development i would like to quote the role of science is not diagnostic but more importantly remedial i would like to explain it by giving some example so my first example is sustainable food development science and technology helps to attain sustainable food production improvement communications and links throughout the agricultural supply chain can aid in the development of sustainable food the food scientists actually contributes to the abundance of learning to utilize a broad range of scientific knowledge to ensure a high quality plentiful food supply the uh, technique that is developed uh, development of transgenic or genetically modified food are actually helping in increase availability of nutrients and also increasing the shelf life of food and this all ultimately taking us a way step ahead to sustainability The concept of zero emission vehicles has typically attributed to transportation options and that is also a powerful asset for sustainability. Electric car uses the technique of battery technology means uh, we charge our batteries beforehand and then we discharge them during the operation. Because electricity production may uh, include some emissions so there is the concept of well to wheel emissions. which include not only operating emissions but also associated with the fuel source there are also some hydrogen fueled vehicles that are also based on fuel cell technology which imply to the electrochemical conversion of fuel energy into electricity there are also some emission of water and sulfur during this process but uh, they are not not as such considered as harmful emissions Uh, there is also a possibility for designing a sustainable zero emission life cycle uh, for the electric and hydrogen hydrogen vehicles if electricity for recharging the batteries is supplied from a renewable source like we can use wind energy we can use solar energy so that will become a sustainable source for the for providing the electricity now i would like to conclude by saying that science has the potential to solve all the problem related to environment it has the ability to transform all the world cities into smart cities it has the ability to transform all the sewage trash uh, toxic fumes emitted from chimneys into non polluting substances science and technology have the potential to create solution that will give a sustainable future so i concluded my point that role of science is not only diagnostic but more importantly remedial thank you mm, thank you sushmita uh, judges can ask question now anil sir please go ahead with the questions ma'am due to the technical reason मेरा क्या कहते हैं इस सेशन में सुन नहीं पाया था ओके राहुल इज देयर राहुल यस मैम यस मैम राहुल प्लीज आस्क अ फ्यू क्वेश्चन आई एम जस्ट लुकिंग फॉर द क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली सुषमिता कैन यू गो थ्रू दैट सेकंड लास्ट स्लाइड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी हैव द पोटेंशियल टू क्रिएट सॉल्यूशन दैट विल गिव अस कैन यू आई मीन कैन यू शेयर दैट सेकंड लास्ट स्लाइड जस्ट बिफोर दैट जस्ट अ मिनट जस्ट अ मिनट this one uh, yes uh, yes so here it is in the second point it is mentioned if the electricity for recharging the battery supplied from renewable sources such as wind solar hydro power so can you put uh, i mean in a just a detail like what kind of energies wind energy or solar energy can be used for these vehicles 
uh, like we, uh, like when we charge the batteries we need electricity so right. that electricity can be provided by solar energy like we can use solar panels that are already being used we can use that energy uh, for charging so that will ultimately be a renewable source so these will be installed in the vehicles or there will be different the energy will be produced only are you getting yes hmm. No, no, no. Uh, are you getting my like these? Uh, this energy will be produced within this vehicle, or there will be some other uh, what uh, should you say a different plant or a different kind of a area? Uh, sir, these energy will be these produced. Setups, uh, sir, if these setups can be installed in the vehicle itself or not, I'm not sure about this. But yeah, okay. uh, apart from the vehicle, outside somewhere we can create this type of source. Okay, right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Uh, thank you, Sushmita. Our last presentation is uh, our last participant of today's event is Shraddha from Gargi College. Now she is going to present her presentation. Shraddha, you can present now. Yeah. Okay. I hope I'm audible and visible and my screen is visible. Yeah, yeah. You're audible, your screen is visible too. Okay, thank you. Uh, a very good morning to one and all, respected judges, teachers, and all the dear uh, participants and the attendees. Today, on the occasion of National Science Day, under the theme of Integrated Approach in Science and Technology for a Sustainable Future, I would like to focus on a very emerging topic of today, uh, that is biochar, which can be used in many ways. And uh, I'm, I would like to put focus on its use as a sustainable alternative for wastewater treatment. So firstly, I would like to focus on why we need to uh, why we need to uh, give more focus on the water treatment. The Sustainable Development Goal 6 of the World Health Organization mentions, uh, mentions to ensure availability and sustainable management of water and sanitation for all. According to the data of 2020, around 26% people lack safely, uh, safe drinking water 46% people lack safe sanitation and 29% of people lack basic hygiene, even in today's time. A sustainable manage of wa management of water can uh, directly, just a second, can be directly related uh, to a betterment of the society and to the sustainable uh, sustainability process. And for that, we need to focus on sustainable methods for, its, uh, for the proper treatment of wastewater. Biochar. A biochar is a porous carbonaceous material produced during the thermal composition, thermochemical decomposition of biomass feedstock. We can use forest residues, wood chip, algae, uh, seaweed, sludge, manures, and organic municipal solid waste. Biochar is a carbon rich material and shows incredible potential to handle wastewater and contaminants. There are certain existing methods for water purification as well, which include co coagulation, flocculation, adsorption, membrane filtration, reverse osmosis, chemical precipitation, ion exchange, electrochemical treatment, and solvent extraction and protection. However, they have inefficiency to remove pollutants at a low concentration, and they cannot completely convert pollutants into biodegradable or less toxic byproducts. They require high energy and risk, uh, require high chemical consumption. Their process is highly complex and they have high maintenance and operation costs. For the uh, preparation of biochar, we can use any organic materials which include wood waste, agricultural residues, even cattle waste and seaweed sludge. The methods uh, which are applied for their production is gasification, pyrolysis, hydrothermal carbonization, and microwave heating. The biomass may be required to go undergo pre-treatment, and then thermal processing is necessary for all type of uh, biochar preparation. Certain times, at certain times, the post-treatment is also required, which can be done by magnetization, ball milling, or corrosion treatment. This will lead to the final production of biochar. Moving on, there are many, many advantages of biochar. 
I will be focusing on only a few. They are highly sustainable in, in nature. Their large surface area, high porosity, and abundancy of functional groups can enable them to be used as an absorbent and a catalyst material. They're highly low cost. They have tremendous potential to remove various toxic pollutants, even at small concentration like ferrous, copper, chromium, arsenic, lead, nickel, zinc, calcium, and even manganese. They can also remove antibiotics or other drugs that produce the decolorization of the water. They have lower impact on ecotoxicity, acidification, ozone depletion, fossil fuel depletion. One of the most interesting factors is that they can even also uh, offset GHG emissions, that is greenhouse gas emissions. They do uh, so as they store carbon in a stable form, preventing the release of greenhouse gas into the atmosphere from biomass degradation. Here are, I have mentioned some of the mechanisms that are followed for the removal of water contaminants. This picture depicts how electrostatic surface comp complexation, physical absor uh, adsorption, precipitation, ion exchange reaction, and electrostatic uh, attraction work for a lead, uh, lead ion in a biochar. Inorganic anions, heavy metal ions, antibiotics, and organic dyes all can be easily removed by the biochar. Existing methods do not remove all of these at once, so biochar is a highly efficient method. However, there are some cert uh, certain challenges for the biochar-based uh, water treatment. These include the uh, limited data on the potential environmental toxic effects of biochar. Feasibility of the, on the industrial scale needs to be explored. Development of an economical method for the mass production should also be in the focus. Potential of sewage sludge or industrial bio waste needs to be thoroughly explored on a mass basis. Microwave, carbon dioxide, and steam activation me methods for the production of biochar can ne needs to be highly explored, and these are also highly economic ways and a sustainable method. The possibility of toxic uh, contaminants present in solid sludge to produce new forms of toxic during production needs to be thoroughly examined as they have not been studied before. The future scope in this field include environmental concerns and future direction, whether, uh, as I mentioned before, whether they lead to any other toxic formation or not their recovery and desorption methods, which are not much studied right now. They also need to be studied. Production process optimization application. Uh, try to wrap up, your time is over. Okay. Applicability maximization is also necessary as they will lead to a low cost. Favorable feedstock production conditions modification method will, imp uh, will tend to improve the, um, will tend to improve the performance of the biochar. Their stability is also uh, a need uh, of the study. Simultaneous sorption models, synergistic antagonistic sorption mechanisms are also needed to be studied. With this, I come to the end of the presentation. I would really like to thank uh, ARST College for providing me this opportunity. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, judges can ask question now. Yes, Shraddha, it was a very good uh, presentation. Uh, so can you tell us who discovered this biochar? You have given some reference also, but we couldn't see it. Yes, ma'am. I, I, I forgot to look for that. I'm sorry. Okay. Is this method is being used anywhere in the world right now, presently? Uh, no, ma'am. It is still at the research stage. It has not been applied on an industrial scale. So that is why we need to, uh, more research is needed in that area so that uh, the industrial uh, production and manufacture can be seen in the near future. So this method is for the for small scale purifications of water or uh, for the large scale purifications, like you are using wood and the biodegradable waste materials for the purification? Yes, At what scale? 
Uh, actually, there are studies which are focusing on their large scale uh, treatments. But however, the papers that I went through, they uh, were focusing at, firstly at small quantities. So they were proposing the idea. I do not uh, like they were proposing to do it for a large scale, but not uh, anything strongly has been done right now as of now. Also, what will be the uh, methodology behind it? Like, I didn't see anything uh, related to the method adopted for this. For the production or for the purification? For the purification. What, what methodology? Like, you have mentioned the items, the things which will be used, but mm -hmm. how? Mom, I have mentioned a slide. Uh, shall I present it again? Yes, you can show it again. Okay, Mom, just a second. Mom, electrostatic attractions and adsorption or even precipitation, surface complexation, chemical reduction, ion exchange. Okay. Pipe. These are the different kind of processes which will be, uh, you know, the matter will be undergo through these processes for during the purification. Yes, ma'am. I was talking about the setup or a certain kind of thing. Ma'am, uh, majorly pyrolysis is, has been used and uh, therefore the pyrolysis setup was used. Mm, I have a slide on that also. Yes, ma'am. Here it mentions pyrolysis, gasification, microwave. Microwave has not been studied so much yet. And hydro hydrothermal carbonization. It, uh, these two are not in much study. Mainly okay. the work has been done through pyrolysis. Okay, okay. All right. Yes, I am done with my questions. Any other uh, judge who would like to ask? I'm all good with this. All right. So I think we are done with the presentation. So give us two, three minutes to uh, prepare the final results. Meanwhile, you can discuss. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma uh, thank you, Shweta. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, it is the depth of knowledge that makes an icon. With these words, I would like to call Mr. Vishnu Kumavat for words of wisdom. Vishnu, sir. Thank you, Vashnavi. Now, two or three minutes of word of wisdom, I will talk about the word of wisdom. I will talk about the word of wisdom. I will talk about the word of wisdom. Rajiv, sir. Rajiv, sir. चलिए हम लोग थोड़ी सी देर बातचीत कर लेते हैं इस बारे में कि बेसिकली आज का जो प्रेजेंटेशन था जो डॉक्टर कुमार कृष्ण का था उसी पर मैं बात करना चाहूंगा स्पेशली जो एक बहुत अभी एक बच्चे ने क्वेश्चन भी पूछा था वहां पे कि ना सर मेरे लाइफ का पर्पस क्या है अगर वो सेशन में अभी भी हैं तो शायद हो सकता है कुछ मैं वैल्यू एड उसमें क्वेश्चन में कर पाऊँ उस आइसबर्ग को अगर हम देखेंगे अगर मैं अपनी स्क्रीन शेयर करके आपको मैं एक बार दोबारा से दिखाऊं मैं आप लोगों को तो अगर आप चेक करेंगे इसमें एक सेकंड मैं स्क्रीन शेयर कर देता हूं अपनी गिव मी वन मिनट अगर आप जितने भी इमेजेस हैं इमेजेस देख पाएंगे तो आपको दिख दो पार्ट दिख रहे हैं इसमें और डॉक्टर कृष्ण ने कहा भी था कि ऊपर बहुत छोटा सा पार्ट दिखता है और नीचे बहुत बड़ा पार्ट होता है आप जो बनना चाहते हैं और बन जाते हैं ना जैसे डॉक्टर कुमार कृष्ण एक सीनियर साइंटिस्ट थे ये इस लोगों को आज पता है कि सीनियर साइंटिस्ट हैं ये लोगों को छोटी सी बात पता है लेकिन उसके पीछे उन्होंने कितना काम किया या ये है बेसिकली क्या वो संघर्ष है उनका या फिर किसी भी जो सफल व्यक्ति है सक्सेसफुल है उसके नीचे जो संघर्ष है वो है नीचे आइसबर्ग के नीचे वाला पार्ट जो कनेक्टेड है और बड़ी बात ये है ध्यान देने वाली यहाँ पे कि ये क्या है इसे हम कह सकते हैं बिलीफ सिस्टम क्या आप जो बच्चे बनना चाहते हैं 
कोई एम एस सी करना चाहता है ऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री से कोई आई आई टी में जाना चाहता है कोई आई टी एग्जाम पास करना चाहता है कोई चाहता है कि मुझे ना नासा में जाना है कोई आई आई सी बेंगलोर जाना चाहता है क्या आपको ये विश्वास है क्या आपका आइस बर्क आप साइंटिस्ट बन जाएंगे आप आई आई टी में एम टेक कर लेंगे ये वाला पार्ट है ऊपर का आइस बर्क का थोड़ा सा पार्ट है इसके लिए आपके बिलीफ सिस्टम का मजबूत होना बहुत जरूरी है वो नीचे वाला पार्ट है सारा का सारा और उसमें आपको तकलीफ भी होगी मतलब परेशानियां जो लाइफ में आती है वो चीजें साथ साथ चलेंगी क्या अगर आप ये विश्वास करते हैं कि मैं कर सकता हूँ ये मैं मुझे बनना है पहली बात तो ये कि ना ये ये क्या कहता है ये है ना इसके पीछे बड़ा जोर लगता है ना आप ऐसे सोच सकते हैं क्या आप रोज उस चीज को देख पाते हैं जो आप बनना चाहते हैं मैं अगर जैसे हमारी अपब्रिंगिंग होती है मैं थोड़ा सा आजकल ऐसी इस तरह की चीजों को मैं पढ़ भी रहा हूँ कुछ लिख भी रहा हूँ तो मैं इसलिए इस तरह की बातों पर आपसे मैं चर्चा कर रहा हूँ बेसिकली क्या आप और हम जब आप बीएससी पास कर लेंगे उसके बाद हमें नौकरी की तलाश होती है तो क्या हम फिक्स होते कि हमें यही चाहिए हम जगह 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 हाथ पैर मारते हैं ना क्या कर, अगर पूछा जाए आपसे बीएससी के बाद में तो क्या कहते हैं हम लोग ये कर रहे हैं ये कर रहे हैं जो मिल जाए वो कर रहे हैं इसका मतलब हमारे जो आइस का नीचे वाला पार्ट है वो हम बहुत छोटा बना रहे हैं वो टुकड़ों में बना रहे आप एक चीज सोचिए अगर ऐसा कहा जाए कि इस जगह पे पानी है और आपको वहां पे कुआं खोदना है और पानी पीना है आपके आसपास की पूरी कॉलोनी को पानी मिलेगा वहां पे अब आप सोच के देखो आपको कहा गया कि वो सौ फिट गहरा है अगर आप खोद देंगे तो पानी आपको मिल जाएगा अब हम करते हैं क्या है सौ फिट तो खोदते हैं लेकिन दस दस फुट दस जगह खोदते हैं थोड़ा सा ये पढ़ लिया थोड़ा सा बैंक एस पढ़ लिया थोड़ा सा आई आई पढ़ लिया थोड़ा सा एम एंट्रेंस पढ़ लिया थोड़ा सा कुछ और थोड़ा सा कुछ और थोड़ा सा कुछ और दस दस फीट दस जगह खोदते हैं सर सौ फीट खोद दिया कुछ लोग तो बारह जगह खोदते हैं मतलब एक सौ बीस फुट सर मैंने तो एक सौ बीस फुट खोद दिया है ना कितना आपने उसे खोदा है इससे मतलब नहीं आप बेसिकली बात ये जो है सर भी ये कह रहे थे कि आपको क्या आता है डजेंट मैटर आपको वो कैसा आता है ये मैटर करता है आप डिलीवर कैसे करते हैं तो अगर आप फोकस रहते हैं एक जगह अगर आपने एक सौ एक फुट एक सौ बीस नहीं एक सौ एक फुट एक ही जगह आपने ड्रिल किया होता तो शायद पानी मिल जाता और पूरी कॉलोनी उस कुएं से पानी भी लेती तो ये एक बहुत बड़ा हमारे पास लेसन है कि अगर हम अपने बिलीफ सिस्टम को जो हम चाहते हैं वो क्या हम बेसिकली वैसा महसूस करते हैं हमें अपने आप विश्वास है एक बार एक बुक में लिखा हुआ था यू कैन नॉट आउट परफॉर्म Then your belief system. आपको उतना ही मिलता है जितना आप सोच विश्वास करते हैं उससे ऊपर कभी नहीं मिलता है तो बराबर मिलेगा आपको या उससे कम मिलेगा कभी भी जैसे आप लोग एग्जाम में लिख के आते हैं ना आपको सौ में से सौ मार्क्स नहीं मिलते हैं ना या जितना पढ़ाया जाता है उतना आप गेन नहीं करते हैं या तो बराबर मिलेगा सौ में से सौ मिलेंगे या सौ में से नाइनटी नाइन मिलेंगे आपको कभी भी एक सौ एक नहीं मिलते ना तो आप और हम कभी अपने बिलीफ सिस्टम से ऊपर जाकर परफॉर्म नहीं कर सकते अगर परफॉर्म करना है तो हमें अपना बिलीफ सिस्टम बढ़ाना पड़ेगा आइस बर्ग के नीचे वाला पार्ट हमें बढ़ाना पड़ेगा और वो जितना बड़ा होता है देखिए तो बड़ी जो जब भी आपका बड़ा वो बनेगा ना क्या बोलते हैं बेस बनेगा उस पर बहुत अच्छी बिल्डिंग बन सकती है और वो आइस बर्ग सुंदर दिखता है लोगों को दिखता है तो फिर आपकी जो मंजिल आपको अचीव होगी वो लोगों को बहुत अच्छे से दिखेगी और लोग सिर्फ उसके बारे में चर्चा करेंगे आपके संघर्ष के बारे में ऑटोमेटिकली फिर चर्चाएं होना शुरू हो जाएगी सो आई थिंक दो से तीन मिनट हो चुके हैं मेरी बातचीत आप लोगों तक पहुंची होगी है ना और अब हम रिजल्ट्स को सुनते हैं थैंक यू थैंक यू वैष्णवी टू गिविंग थैंक यू सर फॉर योर नॉलेज दैट यू शेयर विद नाउ मे आई प्लीज इनवाइट डॉक्टर नीता आजाद मैम टू अनाउंस फाइनल रिजल्ट एंड स्टार्टिंग हम लोग बैक बेंचर से कर लेते हैं ना थर्ड प्राइज से ले लेते हैं हम लोग ना so third prize goes to sushmita bhatia thank you sir college. thank you congratulations, congratulations. sushmita thank you ma'am thank you sir beta jo brother apna face to dikha do 
सर एक्चुअली आज मेरा वेब कैम चल नहीं रहा मैं फोन से ज्वाइन करती हूँ फिर दिखा चलो कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं ठीक है Okay. And the second prize goes to Shraddha. I think she is from Gandhi College. Yes, sir. Shraddha. Congratulations, Shraddha. Congratulations. Is she there? Yes, sir. She is there. Okay. And the last but not the least, and the first prize goes to uh, none other than. Ah, you guess can you guess? You guys. रोशो गुल्ला है आप गैस कर सकते हैं <laughs> बस आपने इंट दे दिया <laughs> तो इट गोज टू नईनिका कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन सो ओवर टू वैष्णवी कॉन्ग्रेचुलेशन टू द विनर्स थैंक यू एवरीवन फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस एंड मेकिंग दिस इवेंट सक्सेसफुल Uh, please fill the certificate form and you may need, you may leave the certificate link is present in the chat box all of you can fill the form over there सुनिधि आई एम लिविंग ना हाउ इज इट फिनिश्ड राइट यस सर यस आई रिक्वेस्ट एवरी वन टू प्लीज फिल द फॉर्म केयरफुली विद इन लाइक टेन मिनिट्स एंड आफ्टर देन वील बी गुड टू गो Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us for the National Science Day celebration. I appreciate you all for sparing your time for this event. You may all fill the form and leave the meeting. the meeting link is active uh, for the next 5 minutes kindly everyone fill in the certificate form
thank you everyone for joining this meeting for joining us for the national science day celebration i hope everyone has filled the form so we're good to go i'm here hereby ending the meeting thank you everyone for joining